season one of Twin My Heart. Vanessa was on a dating show and I helped her find her true love. So if you haven't checked it out, you guys should go watch it right now before you watch this video. Yes, six episodes. They're really good. Don't want to miss it. There's a lot of things that happened off camera or that I didn't see. So we're going to react to some of those stuff from each episode. Are you ready? <laughs> I'm nervous. But okay, let's go. Oh, this is Alex. Alex. <laughs> Alex. Alex was sobbing. The house. Alex was, I was so shook when Alex came out of the van. I was like surprised at first. Like, why is he here? Like, we're already friends. Like, I thought it would be fun to have him on the show because, you know, he is a friend and he was someone that you knew. The rest of the guys were strangers. Mm -hmm. So I, I thought, why not bring one of our friends? So a lot of people ship me and Alex and Alex and I are great friends. We're really good friends. We hang out a lot. I just don't think he's like my type to date. We do enjoy similar things and we laugh at the same types of jokes and he's really sweet and just a good human being. But I just really enjoy his friendship a lot. Just publicly friend zone. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is like one of my favorite. Like, Look how excited I am. Look how excited I am too. He was making French toast. <laughs> French toast, assuming we all wanted French toast. I thought that was kind of whack, Ugh, honestly. It's kind of whack. Why? So we didn't. He's trying to show off his cooking abilities again. You gotta get a new gimmick, then it's been two times now. Oh my gosh, everyone's hating on Christian. Why is everyone hating about on Christian? the French toast? Well, like, like, everyone's getting cereal. He was making it for everyone. Yeah, he's so sweet. And like, everyone was hating on him. I enjoyed the French toast. Like, what's wrong with French toast? Specifically, cinnamon French toast. I feel like during this time, all the guys were being really mean, and I didn't know why. But now that I'm watching it and seeing all their confessionals and stuff, it makes me realize that they were just really jealous of Christian and his cooking skills, and they were just mad because the day before he had the creme brulee and then all the French toast. Sorry that Christian knows the way to a girl's heart. And that's food. food. <laughs> so we were just enjoying like the sunset with stuffed animals and stuff. <gasps> Literally, he walked in and I like you see the look on my face, like, like that's my like look. I'm like, in comes Brandon, glances through the window. But my face it was like gives a typical <laughs> and runs out the door. <laughs> Christian, <laughs> Christian is so funny. Aww. I was so confused. Like, look how confused I am. Yeah. And then I saw him running out of the house. Look, I was like asking the producers, I'm like, he's running away. And I was like, should I go after him? Cause here's the thing, pause. So the reason I ran after him was actually because I thought he was legit leaving the show. And I was like, he can't leave the show. Like, and none of the producers were going after him or camera guys or no one stopped him from leaving. So I was like, I have to go after him. And I felt, absolutely horrible leaving Christian because I was having such a great time but I was like he's leaving like he can't leave I was in our room just <laughs> chilling on my bed I was so tired I was like <laughs> then all of a sudden I hear this slam like really loud and so I got up and I went out into the hallway and I see Brandon he walks by me he's like this is stupid or something like this and he walks down the stairs and then I'm like what just happened? And everyone else, the sound guys were like, what? And we were all like, well, I don't know what's going on. Then all of a sudden, you run out of the room, going down the stairs, and I'm like, oh, well, where is she going? Then I see Kat, the producer, running down the stairs too. Then I see a sound guy with a boom running <laughs> down the stairs too. And I was like, what is going on? So then I went out to the balcony with Christian and then finally like, figured out what was happening. All right, so this is during the twin swap challenge and this is when I swapped with Nessa with Brandon in the room and he didn't even notice. I'm so sorry. Like, I mean, it was like Oh was my gosh, he hugged me. Look, I'm, did you see my face? <laughs> did you see my face? Went, I'm so like uncomfortable here. He had, and he had I no idea. I can't believe he had no idea. But I will say, this game, <laughs> she, I was like, your mm. facial expression is right. I got to spit all over Brandon. Did you do it on purpose? No, it was a game. <laughs> I just did not want to be in that room, because like, 
I, he was, he's just very unpredictable, mm -hmm. even just throughout the whole season. And I was just like, what if he like tries to kiss me or like tries to grab my hand or starts rubbing my arm or like leg? And I was like, I ain't about that. <laughs> if he would have done that, I probably would have like blown our oh cover from doing yeah. the twin swap. And so apparently it was Cecil's idea and Tim took it. Yeah. Like, I, this is sassy Cecil right here. He got so, like, upset. Look at Tim. He's like, ugh. <laughs> Everyone's like, oh, my gosh. That's so funny. I felt bad for Tim. But, like, <gasps> yeah, I told him to, see, to do that. I told him that if he wants to get a chance with Vanessa, he needs to say something to someone who's in his way, and Tim's in his way, and I didn't expect him to call. I didn't expect him to call me out like that. Why did Brandon tell Cecil? Brandon was just stirring the pot. He for was everything. really stirring the pot. I really saw like everybody's true colors after the show was filmed. This was filmed like ahead of time, long ago. And when I was watching this show, I was like, no wonder why so many people didn't like a certain someone. And I was like, <laughs> oh, this was when Brandon and Christian were fighting. Brandon was just really like. Look, Christian's just trying to be like, have a talk about it, and just Brandon was just like, no. And he wanted glasses on. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And he like, basically, Brandon basically threatened Christian. Look at Alex, he was trying to calm him down. And just Alex like, was trying to calm Brandon down. And oh my gosh. Oh, I didn't see what happened. Oh, this was the night. Oh, yeah, the night after. This is after. the morning after Brandon kissed me. Tim, Tim oh, looked stressed. Tim. Christian looked so stressed out. Everyone was so stressed out. Vanessa stressed. You were stressed. Oh, Christian really cared about Christian you. Christian was so nice oh, and like such a the oh, bigger person. Oh, he's trying person. to talk to him again. Like looking at the show and everything, I was just like, dang. We had no idea this we was had happening. No idea. Literally, Literally no idea. But like, aren't you glad that Christian was like the mature one? In oh the yeah. I my decision was good. I picked right. <laughs> so I've just kicked Brandon off. So this is his confessional. That's it, let her deal with Christian and um, that's it. So I'm going home. And I just lost a great girl too. I want to go. I don't. I, I can't tell. Okay. He's like, I want to go. Please, let me go. Like, I can't tell if he was legit sad to go for, or if he was pretending. And I think that was my issue with Brandon the entire time. I couldn't tell if he was saying things for the show or if he actually genuinely had feelings for me and I couldn't deal with that. I think he genuinely had feelings for you. I think it kind of clearly shows right there. I can get really analytical about those types of things and I can't deal with that. So I'm like, you gotta go. So this is when Erin asked all the guys what her best quality is. What do you guys, uh, do you guys think, think of Nessa? Oh, you guys got quiet. Everyone got quiet really quick. <laughs> 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 so nice, she's really yeah. sweet. Okay. All right. One, one word, Tim. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. So sweet. Okay. Dimples, Dimples smile, eyes, eyes, freckles, personality. Her, her positivity. Positivity, yeah, yeah, yeah. He said my positivity. Oh. He was so sweet. That's like okay. s such a nice thing to say about someone, like in general. Yeah, like, it really is. What's your favorite thing about Vanessa? Everyone straight went to like physical appearance, while Christian went to like personality, personality and stuff. And I think that's so sweet of him. I think it speaks think. a lot. I mean, mm -hmm. if a guy likes you for your looks and only your looks, maybe you should rethink about being with that guy because they have to like everything about you, not just what mm -hmm. you look like. Right. So this is the guys taking the test. And Brandon literally He got a zero. Got zero. Nessa, he got a zero on your compatibility test. Look how like how happy he is about getting zero. I'm just like okay, one I still think I'm gonna get that one on one date. Well, I mean, obviously it didn't matter to you that he got zero. Well, so Okay, hold let me explain. So Obviously he got a zero and I was like like oh kind of sad about it. 
but you know, I was also thinking like, oh, well, opposites attract, right? So I was like, I'll still give him a chance because you know he's com like we're complete opposites, and there was like, like more physical chemistry there. Um, but obviously, <laughs> you guys know I w didn't choose him at the end of the day. But it's the fact that he was so confident still that he would get a one-on-one -on -one date after he failed my compatibility test like not even one question right like at that point he just went blah 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 like i feel like he just didn't even try but it didn't matter because he stuck till the end oh this is me and tim's date oh this was one of my favorites because we just chilled and i feel like we instantly had a spark he's because we i can twerk the fact that i said i can twerk and he said we instantly had a spark I feel like a lot of people were like, why did Tim stick around so long? But I think people forgot about how like good this date went. Yeah, and that's why I kept so him sweet. around because I was, I really liked Tim. I thought he was so sweet and kind and genuine. Again, and he was very opposite to me, like very opposite to me, but we had things in common. What up, boys? Yeah. Okay, oh. so this is Alex and Aaron joining us at bowling. Oh, yay. Okay, wait, wait, can I say something? I was having a miserable time at bowling. Literally, I was just sitting there. It didn't make it in the final like cut of the episode. It didn't come out across that I was having a really bad time, but I really was. <laughs> so like, I texted the producer. I was like, "Can I invite Erin?" <laughs> and she was like, "Yes." <laughs> and I was like, "Okay, they're down the street." So then I, we um, yeah, I texted them and then they came and yeah, this so is they, what showed up. they showed up. And I was so excited when they showed up. Cause it was so awkward. It literally was so like awkward. The thing is, so wait, Christian and Tim were making a really good effort, but Brandon and Alex, Alex just like their demeanor and their vibe was just making the whole experience well, so awkward. It was also, I was in my mind that I was like, Alex H has got to go. Cause remember that whole thing happened right before that? Mm -hmm. It's like, he's, he's leaving. I didn't care that he was doing nothing. If you guys didn't know, here's some tea. The night Brandon kissed me and everything, that outfit I'm wearing, I'm wearing in a video Alex posted on his channel. So it was that same night. So I had my mental breakdown and all that stuff. And Alex came over to film the video. And it was just really sweet because it really like just calmed me down and my nerves and everything. And he was like, so how's it going? Like, are you good? Like, are you okay? And I was like, yeah, I'm okay, like Brandon kissed me, all this stuff. And he's like, do you know who you're going to pick? And I was like, no. And Alex just was like, you know, based on the first day and what the guys were telling me and stuff, he said, you know, Brandon's a player and maybe you should be very wise about choosing if you're gonna go with him or not. Just be careful because of the things he was telling Alex. And he said in front of you too, you know, so. Oh, but did you listen to me or Alex? Eventually no. I did. Come on, I did eventually. Ready. Eventually, but it took you a bit. There was some major tea spilled that night from Alex Wasabi, just to clarify. And so it really did affect my decision making for the end. Alex is a good friend. At the end, I made a really good friend and you know loyal friend, and just really realized, you know, how people are like in your front of you, behind your back, and it just made me think about a lot of stuff. So I learned a lot from this experience. Yeah, I'm very. We're both very grateful for the mm -hmm. experience and the friend that we both made. Do you think season two will top this season? <gasps> season two. Thanks for watching! If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to Awesomeness TV, subscribe to our channel while you're at it, and if you didn't watch any of the episodes of Twin My Heart, what, what are, are you, you doing? doing? Comment down in the comments below what your favorite moment from season one was. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye! Hey guys, I'm Veronica. I'm Vanessa. And today we are going to be going through each other's phones. We've never done this before. Yeah, I've never done this. I'm, I'm scared. I'm kind of scared. I guess we Here. switch. I'm curious to see if I can open up your phone with my face. Well, let's see. 
I totally just did. Oh, mine didn't work. I totally just did. Oh. I think you put your face on mine. All, All right, right here we go. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go through Nessa's pictures and see how many selfies she takes. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, Nessa. What? There's so many pictures of you. Okay. See, that's of you too. Okay. <gasps> Kitty! It's Coffee Cat! Look! <laughs> Coffee Cat does not look happy. Oh, Coffee Cat looks so cute! Oh, oh my gosh. I literally have so many pictures of me and Coffee Cat. Cat. Selfies with a cat. Ooh, did you post this? No. These are good. You think so? Yeah. Should I post those? Yeah, you totally should. <gasps> that. It's like keeper. This is gold. Ooh, look at that face. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Mr. So Tiger. What else do you want to look at on my phone? I want to see what apps you have on your phone. Okay. Oh my gosh, you're so organized. I know, I reorganized. So these are all your editing apps. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. That's when I spend money. All right. It's called spend money. <laughs> yeah. This is your entertainment, entertainment where I can like play music, <laughs> Buy ticket concerts, listen to music, watch okay. anime, read comics. Here's all your social apps. Mm -hmm. okay. Oh! TikTok, Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, Tumblr, Instagram. You got 19 notifications on Raya. It's because I don't need to respond to people. <laughs> okay, let's see. You got two Snapchats. This is my main editing things, and then this is edit 2.0. Okay. Yeah. And here's all your games. I have a lot of games. So many. They're super fun. The one, this one's really fun. It's where you catch a noodle. Yeah, try to catch a noodle here, here. You just move the thing and catch the noodle. Where's the noodle? It comes out randomly. You gotta catch it. What there it comes. The catch it! Yay! She caught the noodle! That oh my gosh, so look weird. at all your shopping apps. Oh, yeah, so I have Poshmark, Amazon, Yelp. Heroin, Grailed, Reward Style, Verbo, and The Real Real. I don't think Yelp is considered a shopping app, but... Oh. <laughs> I guess you can have it in there. <laughs> and then Productivity. Okay. I literally never go to that one. I really like your background. Thank you, it's from my favorite it's anime nice. movie called Your Name. It's pretty. Thank you. You don't even have your voicemail set up? Yeah, so people don't bother me. <laughs> Literally, it's the best thing ever, right? If someone calls you, they can't leave you a voicemail, then that means I don't have to call them back. And if they really, really need me, they can just text me. Moment of truth, who's in your favorites? Oh, it's me, my mom, and me, and my dad. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's great. Oh my gosh, Nessa, you're like, what? Okay, so you have 40 messages. What is the first picture you have on your phone? Can I look? Yeah. It's of me <gasps> and Corky oh, in Missouri. Cute. <gasps> look at him. See, he that's when he really loved me and we would cuddle together. Look how, no offense to you, but our makeup game has changed so much. We do our makeup so okay, much Okay, this better. was, that was 2015? Yeah. Look at my eyebrows, why are they so bad? My eyelashes still look good. Dude, your eyebrows are like, they're like a mountain. They it literally are. looks like a mountain. Like that. Okay. <gasps> oh, oh, it worked. I you opened your, it. I unlocked you your did. phone. Here we go. Okay, so you've got Instagram and Snapchat and YouTube, Twitter, all on your front page. This is so weird. Why do you have it all on the front page? And why are your messages down at the bottom? 16,000 emails? 16,000 emails? 16,000 emails? Do you even look at your emails? It is a combination of many emails that are unread and unmarked and a lot of spam. I wanna see what your first photo on here is. Oh, and San Francisco, oh gosh. Don't 
don't judge my outfit. I liked it. It was cute. That's me. Why yeah. is why am I on here? Because you took my phone to take a selfie a long time ago. Why do you have like more photos of me? I literally look like a baby on here. What is going on? I'm so confused. Let's look at who's in Ronnie's favorites. I'm in here. Why is Aaron in here two times? Why did he get more than me, my dad, and my mom? Why am I not in there two times? Ugh. I don't FaceTime you a lot. You literally have so many apps. How do you even, hello? What is, okay, PewDiePie? You have, My what is that, Minecraft or? Cooking craze? Do you even play Cooking Craze? Yes, I do. Paco Forever. Huh? Paco Forever? It's that one car app game. It's a game. Oh, boring. You have one waiting to download. I know, because you can only download that in the UK. I have Pocket Camp. Okay. Chess Tactics? Who are you playing chess in? Magnus Trainer? What is going on? Why I was trying to chairs? learn, okay? Well, are you good? I use Yelp so much. The reason why I don't want to organize my apps is because my thumbs are so used to just going straight to those apps. Your phone's boring. Oh, you also exited out of all my apps and I was watching YouTube videos and stuff. Oh. I really do not appreciate that. Let's see what the, your YouTube history is. Let's see. I've literally been watching Escape the Night. How do I go you to just, history? You just, it's right there. Oh. These are my recent. Okay, okay. Yeah. History on her YouTube channel. Escape the Night, Minecraft, I'm a judge, BTS rehearsal dance. Hey. What's my recommended right now? Oh my gosh, it's a, <gasps> reacting to boyfriend plus girlfriend fan fiction, it's you and Alex. That's my number and one. And why is he shirtless in this, this, this preview? And that was us going through each other's phones. It was very interesting. I've never done that. It definitely showcases our personalities for mm -hmm. sure. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> so we are currently on the set of our new show where a group of guys are competing against each other to win my heart. Make sure you guys check it out when it's out. Subscribe to Awesomeness TV, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Hey guys, I'm Veronica. I'm Vanessa. And we're the Merrill Twins. Today, we are going to be trying the Miracle Berry. Oh, I'm so excited. So for those of you who do not know what a Miracle Berry is, a Miracle Berry comes from a plant and it supposedly transforms your taste buds. So when you eat something sour, it turns into sweet. And when you eat something sweet, it makes it sweeter. So we're going to test this out to see if it actually works. I don't know if it will or not, but we are, we're gonna take the berry or the little tablet and then we're gonna eat sour things and sweet things. This is so interesting. We're just gonna do one. We have to let it coat our tongue. Hmm. Oh. What a interesting flavor. I'm confused. It tastes like a vitamin. Mm-hmm. I'm eating a vitamin right now. Mm-hmm. I'm just putting it all over my tongue. Me too. All right, so. It's uh, dissolved. Uh, Mine's dissolved. So now apparently taste, it makes sour things taste sweet. So, so we've got, see. we've got lemons. Got and lemons. I, so I love limes, but I feel like lemons are so sour for me. Yes. I'm nervous. I've I'm never excited. seen a video or anything. I don't know what to expect. I don't know what to expect. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> Wow! <laughs> it's lemonade in my mouth. It literally tastes like lemonade. <gasps> oh my gosh. That is insane. <gasps> it's lemonade. Wow. <gasps> How? How does that work? What's the science behind this? The tip of my tongue doesn't have it on there. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, ooh. Mm. But then when I actually like swallow it, it's like, it's literally like we're eating lemonade right now. This is mm. the best thing I've ever had in my entire life. Next thing we have is our favorite onions, onions. which is not our favorite. Get a good piece, have a, a good solid piece. piece. Ready? Mm -hmm. Here we go. Why did it do that? Oh my gosh. At first.
first it was so good. Oh. It was really sweet, but then like the aftertaste. It was it, good. In my mouth. I was like, oh my gosh, and then my mouth I was, was like, burning. It hits you, yeah. Oh my god. My mouth was burning. What? My mouth was burning. Oh, I'm disappointed. Way to go, onion. Next, um, we're trying sauerkraut. I hate sauerkraut. I hate sauerkraut too. I'm not even gonna grab a lot because I can't with sauerkraut. Okay, we got my sauerkraut. Got my sauerkraut too. Cheers. Cheers. It was sweet. I thought it was gonna be bad. Me too. But it tasted good. It tasted good. It tasted really good. I hate good. sauerkraut. Me too. It tasted so good. I am confusion. No. I'm very confused. No. You're not supposed to be good. It isn't. It's because of the miracle berry. <laughs> Limes are my favorite. I think this is gonna get our bre bad breath to make it go away. Oh, right? I wonder if it's gonna be sour or sweet. Let's, Let's see. Try. Oh my god. Wow. It's so sweet. I've never had a lime this good before. This is absolutely crazy. Limes are so sour. Mmm. Ooh. I gotta have another one. I'll eat limes by themselves. Oh. It it literally tastes like a candy. It tastes like I'm eating candy. I know. Wow. All right, so this is sour candy, and it, apparently the Miracle Berry makes sweet more sweeter. And so, so first these are sour, then they turn sweet, so we'll <laughs> see. What are you doing? Um, I'm going to grab two. Okay, I'm going to grab two, too. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Whoa. It is so sweet. It's not even sour. It's a little too sweet for me now. I think I would rather eat the lemon mm -hmm. rather than eat something sweet. Me too. Because I'd I love the, the way it the tasted lemon. with the lemon. Mm -hmm. Tasted really good. And this was delicious. This was really good too. Oh my gosh, I'm so shook. I hate, hate pickles. pickles. I don't want to do this. I cannot stand pickles. Ooh. <laughs> sorry, for those who like pickles. I'm so we, sorry. I, I, I understand what it's like to like something and have someone not like it. But I'm sorry, I just cannot Even do the smell. Pickles. The smell is horrible. Okay, I can only take a little bite of it. There's no I'm literally way. gonna gag at the smell. Okay, I'm just gonna take a little Oh my, oh my gosh, I'm so disgusted. Oh, oh, Okay, okay. Okay, you go first. Okay, okay. Oh, oh, it's on my fingers. Sorry. <laughs> okay, here we go. It's not good. Are you not making a face? Maybe I should try it. <laughs> it's it's not good. It's not bad. You just made a face though. But like it wasn't like a normal pickle. Like it, <laughs> just do it, just do it. Look at the big bite I took. I took a legit big bite. <laughs> it's like very small. It's not, it's not bad. It's really sweet. Yeah, it's like super sweet. That is so odd. Yeah, I'm confused. Look I at me, look how I'm it. holding it. I. I'm literally speechless right now. All right, so this is dark chocolate. It has 70% cacao, which is very bitter chocolate. But Ronnie and I, we do like dark chocolate, I love but dark sometimes chocolate. I can't do this dark. But let's see. Yeah. All right, cheers. Mm. This just tastes like normal chocolate. Mm -hmm. This is normal chocolate right here. If you've ever had 70% dark chocolate or cacao chocolate or whatever, it is not good. Mm -mm. <laughs> as much as I like dark chocolate, 70% cacao is like not good at all. But this is delicious. It just tastes like normal dark chocolate. Mm -hmm. mm. It's really good. Mm -hmm. 
So the last thing we are trying is apple cider vinegar. Now it doesn't look like the same color because, because it's we, diluted with we put water. some water in it because you know apple cider vinegar to drink. I don't know. So we, we diluted some. Yes, oh but my it, gosh, it smells so. It's a hundred percent apple cider vinegar in here. Like there's no mm. way anyone would want to drink that. All right, let's try this. Let's just do it. Okay, I'm scared. I'm scared. No. No way. No way. Oh that my gosh. I will so drink I will drink good. all of this. I could drink all of that. I could drink all of this right now. Don't. <laughs> Don't do that. Yeah, that's insane. That's weird. It's sweet. It's very sweet. It tastes like almost like apple juice. Like a sweet, sweet, yes. sweet apple juice that kind of burns the back of your throat. Yeah, it, it burns the back. I first thought like, because <clears throat> like, you know, the back of your throat vinegar. isn't coated with it, but it's, it's so It's 5% acidic. Oh my gosh. So I think the top three foods that worked the best with the berry were the lemons, the pickles, and, and the apple, apple cider. cider I think it's just because it transformed the taste so much. Mm -hmm. the, it really did. Yeah, the onion kind of was like, mm -hmm. <laughs> it burned my it mouth. It burned my mouth. But, uh, you know, that's what onions do, I guess. But this was absolutely crazy. That this, it should me. not be good, but no. it was. And it, I feel like my stomach is going to be upset I know. later. <laughs> it's going to be like, what did you put in me? If we were to do this again, I would want to try chocolate cake. <gasps> chocolate cake. I want to try like condiments that we don't like, like horseradish or mustard. I think we should try peppers, like a jalapeno <gasps> too. Oh, uh, yeah, peppers. It'll burn our mouths, but it'll taste sweet. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to Awesomeness TV. And subscribe to our channel while you're at it make sure to give this video a thumbs up let us know if we should do this challenge again with some different foods comment down some different foods you'd like to see us try and, and we'll see you guys next time bye, bye. Hey, hey guys. guys! I'm Veronica. I'm Vanessa. And I'm Christian from Awesomeness TV's Twin My Heart. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Today we are going to be exposing ourselves by playing Two, Two truths, truths and, and One Lie. lie. <laughs> How to play is you say three statements. Two of them are truths and one of them is a lie and then we have to guess who the, oh, what the lie is. Oh gosh, okay. uh, are you ready for my two truths and a lie? Let's see no. if they can get it. Okay, first statement. I've cut my own hair before, I've borrowed Vanessa's toothbrush without her knowing, and I love tacos. The lie <laughs> is that you have used Vanessa's toothbrush. It has to be that one, because that's yeah. nasty, Ronnie. The lie was that I've borrowed Nessa's toothbrush before. I have not done that before, because that yeah, is that's gross. Yeah, that's disgusting. Very that's disgusting. nasty. Statement number one. I have lost my debit card eight times in the past four years. Statement number two. I have personally owned three different cars. Statement number three. <laughs> pizza is my favorite food. The debit card was so specific. That has to be true. It could be mm -hmm. seven times he's lost it. Or nine. <sighs> okay, I just think that was very detailed. I think I for think how much you lie, love cooking, I, I don't think pizza would be your favorite food. I think that's mm. the lie. Mm. I, that's what I was going to say. I was going to say pizza. Yeah, you got yeah! it. Right? It's, it's no pizza. way, really? Yeah. What is your favorite food? My favorite food is my mom makes this beef stroganoff. Um, it's like a comfort this. food. Yeah, it's my favorite food yeah. ever. See, Aww. I knew that. Thanks, mom. Oh. I am a Hufflepuff. Last night I ate chocolate with nuts, and my third one is uh, one of my favorite colors is the color aqua. What kind of truth or lies are these? <laughs> <laughs> Ones that you can't get. What in the world? Did she have chocolate? Last I don't night? know. Oh. <laughs> I honestly don't think she did. Hmm. It's either the color or the chocolate. Because I've never heard her say one of my favorite. Maybe I'm gonna is. go with the color. That is not your favorite color. I'm gonna go with the chocolate. Okay, so my lie is that I <laughs> ate chocolate last night. 
Sorry. Because I ate Oreos. What in the world? That's so <laughs> I'm sorry, I told you guys I'm really bad at this she's game. Gonna be, she's gonna be tricky with all of them. First one, I've never gotten a speeding ticket. Second one, I've held hands with Cameron Dallas. Third one, I've never gone over 100 on the freeway. I feel like you're a little speed demon. I feel like you was sped on, no, but 100 pretty fast. I so. feel like I've heard you say before that you've never gone over 100. The Cameron Dallas one. What are you gonna go with? I don't think you've held hands with him. Has she gotten a speeding ticket before? I'm gonna go with so. the speeding ticket one. Okay, and the lie is I have never held hands with Cameron Dallas. Dang it! <laughs> Hung out with him, but nothing happened. <laughs> Didn't you get that? Uh, yeah, I got it. Yeah, <laughs> we got it. So yeah, I've we never hung gotten out before, and I was like, has she held hands? She hasn't even like grazed your hand. No. Like, See, I tried to think of something that would kind of stump you. Hmm. So. Well, I was stumped. Me. Statement one: I own over fifteen different hoodies. Okay. Statement number two: I have a movie collection that spans over five hundred movies. And statement number three, I have never left this continent. I think the lie is that you've never left this continent. Mm. I think you've you, had to have travel. Mm. I think you own a different amount of hoodies. The lie is that I do not have over 15 hoodies. <laughs> I have 13 Whoa. hoodies. No Which way. is still a high number for hoodies. <laughs> it's not, just, still a pretty high number. See, I knew it was 14. I, didn't, I knew you didn't have 15. <laughs> first one is my first kiss was in my parents' bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> number two, I found true love in Paris. Number three, I auditioned for Stranger Things. I know the lie, and I think you should go off your first instinct. First instinct is, I f it's oddly specific to kids in a parent's bedroom. And so, <laughs> and also, yeah. <laughs> I'm doing my math. It's calculated. Okay. Um, Paris is the lie. Paris is the lie. <laughs> yeah. You've never found yes. love in Paris? I know. Or kissed a guy in Paris? I know. <laughs> It's okay, we all have dreams. It's okay. I had a crush on the same guy my sister liked, but I never told her. I've mm. always wanted to dye a strand of my hair purple, and I didn't think Christian would win Twin My Heart. <gasps> Bomb! <laughs> oh my Bomb! Gosh. Well, I proved you wrong. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think the strand of purple. I don't think you've ever wanted to dye a strand of your hair purple. Well, the lie is obviously that she didn't think I was going to win because I was going to win from the beginning. You both are wrong. <gasps> you've had a crush. The oh, lie and is. I was going to say. The lie is that I've had a crush on the same guy that Nessa has liked and I never told her. That is a hundred percent lie because I do not have the same taste as guys in her. And Wait, in my defense. Yeah, who did you think <laughs> it was going to win? Statement number one. I almost fell to my death from a waterfall because I couldn't swim very well. Statement number two, I fell asleep in a bush. Statement number three, I didn't go parasailing with my family because I am afraid of heights. Yikes. I Falling think asleep in the bush is 100% That has to be true, because on set you for Twin My Heart, you fell asleep on the couch and it was so hard to wake you up. <laughs> <laughs> I could see you falling asleep Everyone was anywhere. like trying to wake you up. I can fall asleep anywhere. <laughs> I fell asleep at Disneyland the other day. <laughs> I was in a restaurant and I knocked out and the waiter woke me up. Oh my gosh, okay, but so. But in a bush? Hold on, I now think, I'm thinking. Yeah, I think who the falls asleep in bushes? You, you apparently. <laughs> maybe, maybe. I think okay. the first one, falling asleep in a bush. That's the lie? I feel like that's the lie. The lie oh, no. was, I did not almost fall to my death oh. from a waterfall. So uh, mine are going to be, all twin my heart related. Oh. Dun, dun, dun. The first one is I would text Brandon and Alex okay. outside of the show. Not Christian? 
Yeah, I, jerk. I'm saying, well, he would know if I did or not. Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then the second yeah, one is I secretly sensitive heart here. <laughs> I secretly hung out with one of the guys outside of the show, and the third one is Tim gave me many gifts. The lie. I think I know the lie. I know the lie. The lie is that. You texted Brandon and Alex outside of the show. That's what I was going to mm -hmm. say because mm -hmm. I know, okay, I know that she texted Brandon. Yeah. But not Alex. Mm? Mm? Ooh, mm? Ooh. <laughs> the lie is I secretly hung out with someone outside the show. Oh. No, like during the, the show. <laughs> during the show is what I mean. <laughs> After the show. During, during, during the, the show. show. Yeah. So I think the person who won this challenge is kind of clear. It's not me. me. Not me. <laughs> yeah, definitely you. Good job, Nessa. Yay! Yay! Thank you. What and in last gift? place comes <laughs> me. So there we, we go. We have that in common. There can only be one winner. <laughs> one winner. Yay! Yay. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to Awesomeness TV. And subscribe to our channel. While you're at it, follow Christian on Instagram. Yeah. Links will be in the description below. Let us know if you guessed the lies correctly in the comments below. And thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Hey, guys. I'm Veronica. I'm Vanessa. And I'm Aaron. <laughs> and today we're doing twin versus best friend challenge. So I'm going to be asking a series of questions. You guys are going to write down your answers and then show them. If you get the answer right, you get a point. If you don't get the answer right, you obviously don't get a point. Person with the most points at the end of the challenge knows me the best. So let's see who knows me the best. My twin sister, who my best friend, who she's known for 23 years. <laughs> I've known her for two years. And also, if you guys know the answer, leave it in the comment section below. Find out who knows Veronica Merrill the best. I got my phone. Got my handy dandy notebook. All right. First question. What is my favorite food? One, two, three. Tacos. Taco. OK, so you guys, you get the point. OK. Yeah. Next question. What is my worst habit? Are you stumped? I don't want to say the wrong thing and get in trouble. <gasps> oh my I'm honestly wait. I feel like this is kind of, you're struggling on this one. She's got a lot of bad habits. That's the thing. But this one, it might be the worst. Okay. One, two, three. Dirty room. Doesn't listen well. What the heck? Like you can't hear well. No, I can't, but that's not a habit. That's a I know. I know. Okay. You got it wrong. It's actually not being clean. Oh, Meaning what? my room. Your room's not that dirty. And you have Aaron. to be clean. I did Aaron. for clean. It took some hours. <laughs> Next question. If I were a superhero, what would my superpower be? These aren't realistic questions. Okay. <laughs> you should know this. <laughs> I know oh. we've talked about it before. I think you know for sure. Are you drawing something? Okay, ready? One, two, three. Be invisible? Speed. Run fast I knew it. or the force? No, not the force, just run fast. You want the force. Well, you can't put two answers down. She, it's, it's, in the past, it's switched. She's always wanted to be able to use the force, but she likes, she's always wanted to run fast because she likes Dash from The Incredibles. I knew that. I just didn't write it down. My memory is in my favor today. I wish yeah. I was invisible right now. It's not looking too good for you. What was my favorite subject in school? I got it. Hold on. I got it. Okay. Okay, ready? One, two, three. History. Science. I did chemistry. I had chemistry on here. Specifically, the weather. Is it? Science. I had chemistry and then I erased it because I thought history. But what I the like best history. Friend are you? Are you well. doing this like on purpose? Yeah. You have gotten zero wrong. Because I know you. You're my best friend. <laughs> And my sister. <laughs> Maybe this challenge should be. Look at Aaron making those faces. What Maybe face? it should be be done like everything wrong except for tacos. Tacos is important. Okay, maybe this should be retitled Best of Friend versus Stranger. What is my biggest fear? 
Hold on. Uh, now I. There's a lot now of fears. this is where I get 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 a little bit stumped. Stumped. Mm. Biggest fear is. Do you know, Erin? I she's, told you. She's got a. How lot. general can we be? It's one of my biggest fears. Should I not can second you say guess it's myself? One of my biggest fears to me. It's one of my biggest fears. I feel like Maybe this I is one of those things where I don't want to say the wrong thing again. Come on. You got 10 seconds to write down an answer. 10, 9, 8, 7, This isn't six, it. This is wrong. This is not five, it. 5, 4, But three, I definitely know this is two, a top fear of hers. One, go. Losing me. <laughs> I was going to say being alone, dying alone, but is that it? That is it. I knew it. But what did you say? I put bugs. <laughs> I didn't want to you say something what? dark. It's technically, technically, mine is very similar. It's very similar because no. like she's going to be alone if she loses me. Can I at least have that point? I said it vocally. It's just I didn't want to be sad and depressing on camera. Erin, you wrote it down. That was your answer. Dying alone. I'm so sorry. I think you get half a point. What about me? What? That's no, not. I don't think so. <laughs> ah. Fine. <laughs> Fine. Go back in YouTube videos. Find that answer. I don't talk she's about it. Never said that. Because I don't talk about it. You, you did? did? Yeah, you told it to me like two nights ago. Yeah. Well, you're not playing. Okay, okay, let's, let's, keep going. Go, let's go. What is my favorite color? You guys are writing it. I didn't even. Ready oh, yeah. and go. Purple. I was going to do the same thing. We're so creative, Hello. but I wrote it out. Oh, but you're not creative. Sorry. <laughs> I can write. Purple. <laughs> it's true. It's purple. My favorite color is purple. What is my favorite part of my body? Can you stand up? Okay. You're kidding me. Erin. Wait, that's not it. I know, that's what I'm saying. You've changed this a couple, you've said a couple things. No, I've never answered this question. But I'm I gonna say it and it's PG, okay. My favorite part of my body. Even if it isn't, you're gonna see mine and change it. Yeah, huh? you're gonna see it and be like, yeah, that is my favorite part of my body. Three, two, one. Birthmark. Hair? No. I was, I put Yeah, huh? I, you have I, the I coolest put, birthmark put, ever. It's an armadillo. I put butt. I didn't know you liked your butt. You like your butt? Erin. Is that not a thing? My favorite part of my body is my eyes. Okay, I had eyes. I uh, love my eyes. No, you don't. You always have like, my eye is lazy. It is lazy. So but how am I, I'm talking about like my eyeballs. Like they're so cool. But you're telling me that your birthmark, you are not proud of your birthmark. That is special to you. It no one has to... that birthmark. Yes, they do. I met a fan with one. Not that one. Okay, you both got it wrong. I like my eyes. Are you sure she sounds, she doesn't sound like your best friend. What is my favorite season? Like weather, not seasoning. I don't know why, but I feel like there's a lot of intensity right now. Against who? Between, between you two. Sorry, I'm like super competitive today. I'm never competitive. Okay, I'm ready. One, two, three. Spring. Spring. Watch this boat be wrong. Why do you guys think it's spring? Because of Bambi like and you like the... I like Bambi. Yeah, it's should... Aaron. Is it summer? Yeah, it's summer. It is not but summer. You always say it's too high. Yeah. I do? Yes. I think, okay, then maybe you guys are right. Okay, but who has a cuter drawing of spring? <laughs> mine has colors. Okay, mine has flowers. You both get a <laughs> point. Okay. I'm making my way up. What is the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to me? This is kind of a hard one because I am always embarrassed. <laughs> I know it. I don't know it. <laughs> Ready? Ready and go. Did you fart in public? Farting. It is, I have a story where I farted in class and it hey. was really loud and very embarrassing and it's a very like traumatizing memory. It happened in like in third grade. Yeah. I actually knew that. I'm so happy. So we both get the you point. Guys get the point. Okay. Who is my celebrity crush? Dead or alive? I know who you were writing. They're both right. <laughs> Are we being artsy? I'll be artsy no, I'm not with being you. Artsy, I just couldn't. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Go. Marlon Brando. I put Chris Pratt and Marlon Brando. Uh, you said dead or alive. Meaning or not both. You said dead or alive. That is very misleading. That means both. 
It could be dead or alive. She's technically right, but you are right too. So I had Chris Pratt, and then she said dead. Hey, and I was okay, like, oh. so you both I think get I get a, a half point, point though. No, because I guess you want I half a point. I want half a point. You don't want a full point? You get oh, a full, want, you oh, get a full no, point. No, full point plus half a point. No, because yes. I got Chris Pratt. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh, why is this a disaster? Finally, what do I look for in a guy? Are you ready? Yeah. Are you done? Come on. Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. One, two, three. A good, good heart. Good heart. No way. What? Yeah, I. Why did we get told the same you. thing? Okay. And why did we draw hearts? Well, you both are right, but it was actually a trick question because that question was directed towards Nessa. You know what I mean? What you look for in a guy? Because we are on the set of our new dating show. We are. And this is what I'm looking for. A good. Part. Also, congratulations, Nessa. You won this challenge. Barely. 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 Barely, like a landslide. Barely. Do you know how disappointed I am in you? Barely. I'm sorry, but on a side note, can I see, meet the guys? But how proud of you are, how <laughs> baby, aren't you proud of me? Yes, I'm very proud of you. Yeah, I'm your best friend. <laughs> Love you. Aaron. I'm Love sorry. Shush it. Are you Ow. mocking me? Mm, no. Us. Make sure to subscribe to Awesomeness TV. Subscribe to Aaron. Subscribe to the Merrill Twins. That's us. And we will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Hey guys, I'm Veronica. I'm Vanessa. We're the Merrill Twins. And today we are trying five things we've never done before. We're going to be doing a sushi mukbang. We're going to do a DIY. Play some instruments, maybe a TikTok challenge, and turn ourselves into Visco girls. I think you need some mist. <laughs> Visco is a, actually like an a, app. It's an a editing picture, yeah, app. picture editing app where you can like share your edits and photos and stuff. But and there's you have fun accounts. filters on there. And yeah, you can and make so your account very aesthetically pleasing. Girls who have Visco app wear these clothes. So what they wear is an oversized t-shirt, they use scrunchies, they have hydro flasks, they wear Birkenstocks, which we don't have. I guess in the chapstick, chapstick and, and this mist spray thing. For your face. Yes. Right? Okay. Yep. And the language is, and I open I've been accused of being a visco girl, and not that being a visco girl is a bad thing. I don't think it is. But I don't consider myself a visco girl. I do wear oversized t-shirts a lot. There we go, and I'm gonna choose this one for my wrist. Actually, I'm gonna layer. Hey, I wanted the blue. I'll do two different types of pinks then. Okay, I got, okay. Oh, are you putting, I'll do all black on this one. Okay. <laughs> All right, we're turning into Visco girls. I got my hydro flask, and then I oop and I oop. Oh my gosh! It's like I didn't. I actually didn't know they used chapstick. I think you need some mist. And I oop and I oop oop oop. I think Ronnie is winning this Visco girl. I got my yeah. color scrunchies on my left wrist and then my neutrals on my right. And my hydro flask, self love, California. <laughs> and also, save the turtles by using metal straws. Um, you said it wrong. It's save the turtles. And I oop, 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 oop. <laughs> but in all seriousness, so we just need to recycle and stop using plastic in general and find alternative ways to just help our environment and save the animals because it's not only the turtles that are getting hurt. All right, so Visco girls, check. check. One thing we do like is sushi, but we've never done a sushi mukbang. Um, we're just, what are you doing? Ooh, for the salmon. You're just gonna eat it whole? Oh, mm -hmm. okay. I feel like I hold my chopsticks weird. Mm -hmm. Look at look at how weird I hold them. Mm -hmm. We hold them differently. Look, but like not too different. Mhm. Mm Is that weird? Is it good? Mhm. Mm should I should I grab a smaller piece of the salmon one? Mhm. Mmm. That is good. Okay, then I'll take this one. 
this is crispy rice tuna. C T crispy rice tuna. C R T C R T. Crispy rice tuna. Uh -oh. And I like crispy uh -oh. rice tuna a lot. But sometimes it's spicy. I get scared of the sauces. Oh. Because I feel like it might be spicy. Mmm. That's mm. my favorite. Mmm. Oh. Mm. I think I started really liking sushi a couple years ago, like three years ago is when I really started getting into it and like not being afraid. All right, let's try. Mm. So yeah. you tried that one, that was good. Should we try yeah, these octopus? Spicy. I've never tried octopus before. Ah! I'm so sc I'm scared, what if I don't like I'm gonna offend people. Okay, ready? I am terrified. I can't. I can't. I think seaweed smells awful. Okay, here I go. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I'm sorry. My hand is cramping. My hand is cramping. I need to eat it. Oh my gosh, did you put it in your mouth? You put it in your mouth and it's hanging out of your mouth. It looks so... It's hot. It's too good. It's really too good. You don't like it. <laughs> Why? I don't know. It's the texture that really got me. The texture I'm, is very I'm usually tough. good at like getting over textures and stuff, but it's okay. Next time, maybe next time, I'll try it, try it again. This is really good sushi, though. I'm surprised I liked the that octopus. I, I am too. I never. You're usually picky about that I'm stuff. I'm very picky about sushi, especially when it comes to raw sushi. So the fact that I was able to eat this, hi, bye. Yeah. So we'd love to keep eating and enjoying this sushi mukbang, but there's still more things that we have to try. Yes. So we'll come back to this later. Yes. <laughs> All right. Sushi mukbang check. check. So the next thing we're going to be doing is playing some instruments we've never played before. So we have this thing and then an, an accordion, which I've never been able to play an accordion because it's been too heavy. So this is like a small one. And then this is a recorder. We're pretty decent at recording. <laughs> I'm like really good at hot cross buns on the recorder. Okay, <laughs> and this is an automaton. Uh, Onomatopoeia. <laughs> no, automaton. So I guess you just like. Here, I show how you. How do you do it? <laughs> Wait, can I try? Yeah, try the middle. What in the world? I wonder if you do it more like this. with these instruments. We could play these all day. Literally, literally, this is how Ronnie and I could entertain ourselves. If you just give us instruments to play, we could be, we could go all day long. Instruments we've never played before? Check. Check. A TikTok dance that we've never tried before. We can't use the actual song because of copyright reasons on YouTube. So we're just gonna be dancing to a random song, but trying to do this popular renegade dance routine. I guess so. I guess. Let's try okay, it. Okay, let's try it. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, what oh, in the world? Oh, oh my. Oh, she's fighting. Oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh. What in the oh world? Lord, what are we doing? I give up. She's fighting people. What in the world? What was that? Oh my gosh, Nessa. All right, you guys. So um, I think we can all agree that Ronnie and I failed. So there's, there's the one where you clap without your hands. That one. <laughs> You go like this, and then you go around, and clap, and then whoa. and then you go, 
Okay, okay. Ready? Go. Yeah! What? Ready? We'll do it at the same time. One, one two, two, three. This one. The one that goes like. Like, like this. Am I doing it? <laughs> Am I doing it? Are we doing it? I feel like I'm getting ready to like salsa. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm just gonna walk like this from now on. Well, eating all that sushi is making my stomach hurt. TikTok dances we've never done before. Check. Check. DIY shoes, but we're gonna make them rainbow tie-dye using permanent markers. So we'll just color in, and then using rubbing alcohol, you spray it after you've colored it, and then it should turn tie-dye. So we've never done this before. I've never done that, and I'm really scared, and I don't really know how to like start it, but we'll see. Neither we'll see do how it goes. I. I wanna try to make it like a galaxy looking type thing. So I guess I'm just going to like start. I'm choosing purple because if you look at pictures of galaxies, there's like blues and purples in it and like different types of colors. It's like, they call it interstellar medium. We've never really crafted on our channel before. We'll do like funny DIY skits where we like have made Christmas DIY stuff, but it's like a joke and it's we don't really take it seriously. Yeah, no, we are not good at this kind of stuff. So we'll see how this This is goes. not our forte. There are other channels for this type of stuff. Ronnie's doing it correctly, I'm not. <laughs> Look at me, mine's just gonna be like random. I don't know, I'm scared for how mine's gonna turn out now. All right guys, I'm gonna try to see how this looks. Here's how my shoe looks right now. It kind of looks like a pink and bluish camo. I don't know how to feel about mine. Why don't you try yours? Actually, mine's looking pretty good now. All right, I'm gonna try mine. Or what if I hold it up? I never would have thought to use permanent marker Same. for tie-dye. This is like something you would do like if you're stressed out or like if you, you just need like a mental break because like it's just really fun and relaxing to do it's this. It's almost therapeutic. Okay, so these are gonna take uh, a while to dry before we put them on. So, and we're, we've only done one shoe and we need to do the other one. In all honesty, yay or nay on the DIY? Did we do okay? Like, would you guys wear these shoes? I don't know. I don't know either. Maybe. DIY, DIY rainbow, rainbow shoes, shoes. check! <laughs> Out of all the things that we've tried today, I really enjoyed all of them, Me to be too. honest. They were it all was really, really fun. cool to experience new things mm -hmm. and try something different. Yeah. And we encourage you to try something different as well. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching! If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to Awesomeness TV. While you're at it, subscribe to our channel, Meryl Twins, and check out some of the other videos we have done here on Awesomeness TV channel. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye. Oh! Oh, hey guys, I'm Veronica. I'm Vanessa. And today we're playing the Who Wore It Better Challenge to see who has the better style. How this challenge works is we're going to be given four different articles of clothing and we're each going to style that piece of clothing individually. Once we have the final looks, we'll post them to our Instagram stories for you guys to vote on a poll to see who succeeded at this challenge and wore it better. I think we both have really cute styles already. They are different, but you know this is a challenge. Yes. So we're going to see who has the better style. Yes. So the first thing we're going to style is a hoodie. I've got a black oversized hoodie. I've got a pink oversized hoodie with a picture of our cat on it. <laughs> so just so you guys know, we're filming these videos at home and we're gonna be using stuff out of our closet that we already have, so nothing is new. We can't go out and buy new clothes because of... <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and style these. So as you can see, we kind of styled the hoodie the same. Well, not really. Well, 
So let's talk about how we accessorize. And that's that you can go first. I just put on these little earrings and this necklace. I did this scrunchie to match it. I have my rings that I always wear. And then I just wore it like a dress, but I do have shorts under. But then I have these off-brand Nike shoes that have a little pink in them. I thought would look pretty cute with my hoodie because there's like blues and pinks. For my look, hold on, just keep Your looks on. cool, I like yours. You do? Yeah. I went for like a Kendall Jenner casual paparazzi vibe. <laughs> so I got my Valentino glasses on. Then I put my hair in a low bun. I've got these cute little dangly earrings. And then I have this plain hoodie, got it from Target. Biker shorts that I thought would look cute with it to put under to give it that like casual streetwear look. And then I got these cool Air Force Ones with the little cheetah print on them. Those are so cute. So yeah, this is my look. I don't know, I kinda like yours better. This is just something I would actually wear. I literally wore this to a party once. <laughs> you did, it's true. <laughs> so the next article of clothing we're going to be styling is a tank top. This is the tank top I'm gonna be using. This is the tank top, the this is the, this. This is the tank top I will be using. It's really wrinkled. Mine's soft and fuzzy. Okay, let's go. Hopefully we don't twin again. I know. All right, so as you can see, we have very different looks. For this part of the challenge to style the tank top, I put a cute little black jacket over. It has this little red heart. And so I decided to match with the red skirt. And then I got some nice little combat boots going on. I totally forgot to change my earrings from the last oh, round. Okay. But I put my hair down. And yeah, this is what I came up with it's to style cute. the tank top. I like it. I like this skirt. Look how it's asymmetrical. It's really cute. Isn't it cool? So for this look, when I ordered this tank top, I saw these shorts and this matching like sweater hoodie jacket thing, I don't know. So I ordered that and I thought it would be so cute to wear with this. And then recently I ordered these new shoes. They have kitties on them. <laughs> so I just kind of put some socks high socks and made it kind of vintage -y. I don't know. You know how it is. You kind of wear sweaters off one shoulder. It's the trend right now. So these have like silver thingamabobbers. I just went with silver accessories. Cute. So I yeah. like it. I think I kind of like Nessa's look for this one, but we'll see what everyone we'll says. See. The next article of clothing we're going to be styling is a pair of blue jeans. So here's my pair of jeans I'm doing. Here's my pair of jeans I'm going to do. Let's get changed. Let's go. So I grew. We get <laughs> two complete different looks for blue jeans. Very different looks. They're like different even styles too of jeans. I got my inspiration from this music video by Maluma. The girl in that video, she wears like these sweatpants, like a tank top and a hat and hoops. And I always thought that outfit was so cute. So I was like, I'm gonna do that right now. And with like these mom jeans. But I rolled them up at the bottom because they're kind of long. And then I kind of just accented them with like some cool shoes but I feel like this is something I would wear to like a hangout with friends yeah, it's cute like that. I like it thank you for my look I kind of made it more of a night out type of look like maybe a first date type of look a casual date I put a sweater on with this leotard no what are they what are these called body suit body suit uh, tops it's a long sleeve so I don't get cold and I get cold really easily I just put on a cute little necklace that I found and then some normal like studs Thank you, thank you so much. It's light pink. Where did you get it? It's mine. Hmm. I got it from Marcia. I bought it, okay. Okay, okay. Anyway, then I styled my hair like this because I really love this look. It's kind of like a Ray from Star Wars type-esque kind of vibe. I like not. I have the jeans. I really liked this sweater because I think it kind of looked cool along the buttons. It matches. Then I paired it with these brown little booties that I have. Sometimes I will wear this for like a nice casual evening out if we're going out to eat or maybe sometimes even church. <laughs> I would not wear this outfit to church. The last item of clothing that we're going to style is a pair of sweatpants. I have black sweatpants. I've got pretty much the same ones. All right, so let's see what kind of look we come up with. I cannot believe how tall heels make me Anessa. We're 5'2", but I just like became a model. <laughs> so we obviously styled our sweatpants very, very differently. You know what's funny is I was gonna do the heels. You were? I was, and then I was like, 
One of my favorite things to do with sweatpants is to style it with a nice pair of heels. You can dress up sweatpants. I've been to dinner events where I've worn sweatpants, like sweatpants I sleep in, but with heels and like a nice shirt and like a jacket and people are like, oh my gosh, your you outfit's so, so cute. cute. And you're and just I'm like, like oh, I'm comfortable. It's sweatpants. <laughs> What I chose to pair my sweats with is obviously a pair of heels and a cute jacket. I have this nude uh, colored jacket. It's like a suede. suede. I literally put on the shirt I was wearing earlier at the beginning of this video. And then I just put on these sweatpants, but you know, to make it a little bit more like zhuzh it up, heels. And now I'm ready to go out. I'm ready to go out to dinner. I'm ready to go out and hang out with some friends. I actually did this for a birthday dinner once. So this exact I. look. Oh, that? This exact look. There's hope, ladies and gentlemen, to look fancy, but be comfortable. Okay, so for my look, I thought I kind of would like accent my outfit with red. I have this sweater that says last clean sweater. The thing about this sweater is it's actually really long. It goes all the way down here and I always wear it like an oversized sweater. See how long the sleeves are? <laughs> Basically, I learned this hack on TikTok to where you can make your oversized sweatshirts into a crop top I've by putting this. a belt on. Wow. So you wear it normal, you put the belt on, and then you just pull it through. So because this has red in it, I decided to accent everything else with red besides my sweatpants. I just did a red beanie, I put these red cute uh, earrings on, and I wanted to do something different with my hair, so I just did two low buns, because I think this is such a cute like it's so look cute. with the beanie. And then I put on my custom made bands that I made a long time ago. They're just plain white with a white stripe. So yeah, that's my sweatpant look. Now let's see who styled it better. Okay, so it's been about an hour and 30 minutes and we posted all the stories and for you guys to vote. So let's see who won each look. Who, who wore, wore it better? better? First look was the hoodie. Here we go. Nessa! Yay! You won! Oh my gosh. Okay. Like barely though. Like 57, 43. Okay, the next one was the tank top. Okay. All right, let's see who won that one. You Me! again! Okay, okay. Okay, what was the next one? Blue jeans. Blue jeans. Let's see who won that one. Oh. Whoa, Ronnie won by a landslide. <laughs> Everyone hated my outfit. Yours is cute. I liked the? it, but I guess mine was better. <laughs> now the last one was sweatpants. Oh, oh, oh. Ronnie won. I won that one. I didn't think I would win this well, look. No, because it's super cute with the heels. Well, I took them off and uh, don't look at my feet now. I got two, you got two. It was pretty, pretty much, much a tie. tie. <laughs> goes to say that we both, both have, have great, great style. style. Yay. Yay, I guess we can end in a tie. <laughs> yeah, we can end in a tie. So that was a really fun challenge. Comment down below which look you liked the best. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to Awesomeness TV and subscribe to our channel. And while you're at it, go follow Awesomeness TV on Instagram and follow Meryl Twins on Instagram as well. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye. What are like physical things that you're attracted to when it comes to a girl? Smile, like mm -hmm. your smile. <laughs> <laughs> With the dimples. <laughs> Twin My Heart season two was a wild ride of emotions. Thanks to the guys Veronica and Vanessa Merrill helped cast. In never before seen footage, we're showing you interviews of the guys you love, love to hate, and the ones who didn't make the cut. So hi, what's hi. your name? I'm Aaron. I'm Tage Borgeson. My name is Connor. CJ, I'm CJ. Raymond Edward Wynn III, but I've been Teddy since I was a kid. My name is Ryan Prunty. Well, I'm Brian. Uh, yeah, I'm 21. Cool. Very nice. So we know Brian. Yes, <laughs> we, we do. Go yeah. way back. Let's see, it was from you now. Yeah. When you guys used to like guest people, and I was apparently lucky to video chat with one of you guys. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if okay. you watched the first season of Twin My Heart. I did. I you did? did. Okay. Yeah. Did. It was intense. Oh. It was intense. <laughs> Why did your last relationship end? Well, uh, my last relationship was really like my only relationship. It lasted for eight years. And uh, yeah, it was a long time. And uh, it ended because she did not, I'm an actor, uh, and she didn't see a future with 
an actor. So that was cool. That's not good. No, it wasn't great. <laughs> Have you been in a relationship before? Yes. And what happened in your last relationship that didn't work out? You know, we, we did for almost a year, and I, I just, at the end of the day, I felt like I was putting in a lot more effort than she was. What happened in your last relationship? Like, why didn't it work yeah, out? Yeah, why didn't it work out? Uh, we were both in the military at the time with me, in the U.S. Army, so it was kind of hectic, you know, active duty. Communication is not there. That's, you know, you have to go out in the field, be away from each other for months. Communication wasn't there, support wasn't there. You know, giving up my goals and dreams to somebody who's not going to support me at the end of the day. Uh, my last relationship. All right, so I met this girl last year. I, we was friends for like four years, and then we end up dating. And when I end up going to school, she ended up cheating on me oh. with one of my close friends. So oh. it was kind of, you know. Messy. Yeah. Wasn't Not going good. for it. So this is Vince, and he's actually been one of our friends for a really long time, like several years, no? Yeah, like two. Two years. Like two and a half. Yeah, yeah we're like friends that. from church, and we decided to bring him on the show. <laughs> Why did your last relationship not work out? My last relationship didn't work out because for a long time um, I was just dismissing red flags. For a long time, she was not very nice to me. That caused me to pull away, which caused her to just be even more mad, and then we're just like, okay, we can't do this anymore. Mutual understanding that we were not right for one another in the long run. My name is Denzel. I'm Dustin. Nice to meet you nice guys. To meet you. you guys are brothers. Yeah, he's uh, two years older than I am. If you guys can't tell, he's aging, but um, I'm the younger brother. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. I love the brother dynamic. <laughs> are you guys super close? Definitely, like, this guy's my best friend. <laughs> this guy is a liar. Am I not your best friend? Okay, first of all, he's dramatic. He's not my best friend. Um, <laughs> nah, he's my best friend. Like, <laughs> like which one is it? Because, nah, he's my best friend. All right, so this is kind of crazy. We met at the Streamy Awards. We did. So my friend Matt, he's the red-haired kid who was on the last season. So I brought that up and we talked about it a little bit. Um, so, so what do you do? So I am a full-time YouTuber and also a filmmaker. Oh, that's really cool. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, a little bit of everything. Uh, where are you originally from? Okay, so I'm from upstate New York. And you probably don't know about it because it's like the only thing that we have there is cows. It's like our cows. Team. Yeah, basically we have like Dairy Day. We have a whole holiday dedicated to cows, and like they crown like a dairy queen and a dairy princess, and they give you milk. It's really weird. It's super weird. <laughs> yeah, that's so funny. Yeah, it's a good time. What is like your go-to pickup line? Oh my god, before moving to LA or after moving to LA? Well. <laughs> I love your aura. I mean, it's all of that. Oh my god, that that's sounds really LA. bad. So my go-to pickup line is, um, "Girl, if you were a Cheeto, you would be a hot Cheeto." So would that would that work on you? Uh, I don't know. Okay, I think it uh, worked on my dad over there. He went yes. <laughs> He's like taking notes. Uh. <laughs> What's something that a quality about yourself that you're very proud of? My smile. I feel like I'm really charming. I have like a boyish charm to me, and that really like gets people wanting to know more about me and like be my friend and stuff. So I feel like that works out in my favor. My favorite quality about myself is my height. <laughs> How tall are you? I'm 6'4". <laughs> <laughs> That's very tall. Yeah, it's up there. Should get the best of both worlds with me. Funny, <laughs> handsome, that's two already. Smart, <laughs> intelligent, down to All right, we get it. What's your ideal girl? Like, what do you look for when you are talking to a girl? I like to see where her head is. I, I like um, girls who actually know what they want in life. I'm a sapiosexual too. I, I get turned on by intelligence. So if, if you can teach me something, because I know I'm gonna be teaching you something. So if you can teach me something, then I'll fall in love. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. I like a girl who doesn't take herself too seriously. You can kind of just laugh and isn't just like, kind of can laugh at herself, be kind of self deprecating. Uh, someone who's kind and generous, you know, cares about others kind of before themselves. And I like a good energy. I think I'm kind of attracted to a certain intensity with people, people who kind of like go off and do their thing. Like, that's really attractive to me. Are you an introvert or extrovert? I like to think that I'm extrovert, but I'm introvert. <laughs> Would you say you're an introvert or an extrovert? I'm an extrovert, mm -hmm. but I don't know if I'm showing that right now. We're on camera. <laughs> yeah. Which I'm, is ironic. <laughs> yeah, it's super weird, because like, I'm an extremely extroverted person, especially when I know people more. But something about being on camera, it gives me a, a flashback to like middle school, high school stage fright, <laughs> which is something that I always struggled with. So it's kind of an interesting dynamic there, especially with my career choices. What's your name? Cody, Cody Bora. Okay, where nice are you from? You? Uh, Minnesota. 
What team we out here for? The, 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 I'm not sure where y'all are from, but have you experienced snow? <laughs> yes, <laughs> we're from Kansas City, Missouri. Oh yeah? Okay, yeah. okay. Last year was like one of the worst snowfalls of all time. Oh my god. Oh, and wow. that just wore through me. So that was like the inciting incident to get me out here. Yeah, yeah. why should we pick you? Well, boy oh boy, I have to have a lot of confidence to answer that question properly. Um, I did watch Twin My Heart. <laughs> like, the, the mentality of the guys on that show all kind of seems similar. And I do think I've got a different mindset about romance. I think a Minnesota boy has a quality to offer. What qualities do you look for in a girl when you're trying to date? Qualities I look for. What well, quality I don't look for is I don't like know-it-alls because that kind of that's kind of annoying. It is annoying. Um, yeah, I'm also really into like my style, mm -hmm. so I'm hoping that whoever I date also has a similar style because like one of us can't just be like the best one. <laughs> <laughs> no, it makes sense. You gotta both sense. look yeah, good. Yeah, we, we have to be like hashtag couple goals. So well, for me, I'll go for like personality. Even though like you know looks is like what you what you come across first, but I'm more so about like personality. If they're like funny and like. I would say um, goofy as well, like that really uh, gets me going. Not like that, but like, you know, and like, <laughs> like a massage um. Herbert the pervert over here. <laughs> I'm definitely like an extrovert, and I think that's something I'd want is someone who's also like big personality. I want to know, like, I can have someone that isn't gonna, like, if I bring her to like a family event or anything, she's not gonna be clinging to my hip, I guess. Uh, so, someone that I can know that it's gonna be okay if I like step out for a minute. Definitely someone with like a bubbly big personality and uh, sort of has their stuff together, I guess, and is active. What are qualities you look for in a girl to date? A good sense of humor, because I like to like say jokes and like, you know, be witty and stuff like that. So I say like, you know, someone who has a good head on their shoulders, they're not like shallow, and then they have like a really like, beautiful smile. We have to be able to communicate well. It flows and it feels natural and there's just like a, you know, solid, obvious connection there, you know? Doesn't feel forced, doesn't feel like pulling teeth, playing the 20 questions game, and it just like, it just happens, you know, you just click. So, if that's there, then that's pretty perfect. What do you think about the idea of dating a girl who's a social media influencer? I have, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Me personally, I, think the best relationships are kept off social media. I say it's cool, but it's really like about what's outside of that. Yeah, you can have so many followers, but it's all about like who you are like on the inside. If someone is making a career out of it, if there's their goal to influence people positively, if it is being used for a good thing, then I have no problem with that. I think that's admirable. Are you the jealous type? Do you get jealous? Nah, not really. No. Okay. Do you like to get in fights and stuff or no? No, I've never gotten into a fight. If like I was interested in you and you were interested in someone else and I saw that, I'm not gonna be like, well, what the, why aren't you interested in me? Like that doesn't really make sense to me. I feel like you kind of have to let people do what they want. Mm -hmm. So not that type of jealousy, but if I was in like a more committed relationship and I started seeing that kind of stuff, that's when it would probably come out. In certain situations, could you be an aggressive person or not really? Yes. Really? I can sometimes. Like You can throw some hands? I don't throw hands. <laughs> okay. I, I, I throw hands verbally. Have you ever been in a fight before? Like a physical fight? Yeah, with like... all the time. Really? <laughs> yeah, it happens. Mm -hmm. If there's something where I need to like intervene, then I'll for sure intervene. But otherwise, if it's one of those situations where it's like there's not really anything I can do about this, then I'm just going to kind of take a step back. So you, you're not very aggressive or anything? Like if a fight broke out, would you get involved in it or anything? I'm usually the one who's trying to be the peacemaker because I'm a lover, not a fighter. Very cliche answer. I'm also a Pisces and we're like the most loving um, sign, so yeah. What's your zodiac sign? I'm a Cancer. Okay, Yeah. very nice. What qualities do Cancers have? They're an emotional wreck. <laughs> <laughs> one of you gets kicked off and the other one gets to stay. Or do you guys do you guys stay together or do you guys go out like out together? Well, this is what I would what what are you gonna say? Because you always wanna talk first, go. I was born first, so what are you talking about? <laughs> well, growing up, my parents always said wherever I go, he goes. But if he goes out of the house, I'm not going with him. <laughs> Are you close to your family? I am, yes, I am. Okay. I'm very close and uh, it was actually, I just got here last night. I was home for the holidays. Oh. And uh, yeah, my mom was crying to see me go. So it was oh. adorable, yeah. 
so sad, but I'm fine, I'm big boy. <laughs> <laughs> Are you family oriented? Very, yeah, very, very family oriented. Um, really close to my mom, not so close with my dad, but getting better now that it's, you know, he's like a very business dad, you know, so as I'm older, it's better. But, and then like cousins, love all my cousins, you know, aunts and uncles, really close with my family. Are you family oriented? Yes, I am. I like love my family. I think family is the most important thing. I have nine siblings, so. Nine siblings? Yeah, and like they'll always be there for you, always count on them, yeah, so. Yeah. Let's say the girl you're talking to or um, trying to date is not feeling good, like sad, just kind of in the dumps. Like, what would you do to cheer her up? My plan for anything when anyone's down or I just, you know, see that they're not feeling their best, I always try to make them laugh. That's like number one. Me what? being the musician, I can write a stupid little song or whatever, pull the guitar in or whatever, you know, so. If I know the girl and I know what makes her happy, that's what I'm going to do. Not what makes me happy. Oh, that's a good answer. <laughs> <laughs> I use humor to solve everything, so I would try to be weird, probably. That's also like a family trait of mine, I think. We don't deal with like sadness super well, so we use humor and kind of like dark humor to deal with it, if that makes sense. <laughs> Can you tell me about your friend? <laughs> She's Can I know? Great. Nice. Yeah. Great. That's all I get. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're and the only guy who's yeah. yeah, you're the only yeah see, I'm interested. I'm. Wa I want to know more about her. I mean, you know what? She's into the zodiac, zodiac stuff too. Yeah, so. yeah, we can talk about that then. Yeah, that's something you, you can talk about. With you guys, her. you got a little leverage there. Yeah. <laughs> what is your like ideal date? Like, if you were to take a girl on a date, what would you do? My ideal date is, it's so cheesy, but it's one that you don't want to end. And it, it honestly does not have to be anything fancy. I mean, obviously it can be, but one where I don't want to, to leave you. Like, obviously it's, you know, something. <laughs> don't cry. <laughs> what was your favorite moment from last season that was not on camera? The part where Brandon stormed out. And I wish there would have been like a camera like on me. <laughs> Of your reaction? I was so clueless to what was happening. Oh yeah, because this is straight up, this is real, right? You're literally just captured. No one told him to storm out. And he just did. He just yeah. did? Yo, go Brandon. <laughs> right. Would you storm out? No. Were you surprised by who made and didn't make the cut? Leave a comment and let us know who you'd like the Merrill twins to set up on season three of Twin My Heart. Don't forget to subscribe to Awesomeness TV and the Merrill twins channel. See you next time, bye. Hey guys! I'm Veronica. I'm Vanessa. I'm Franny. And I'm Neza. Today, us best friends are going to be taking a lie detector test. We're on the set of season two of Twin My Heart. It's been kind of crazy, so you guys need to stay tuned for the trailer because it's coming out soon. We're going to be asking some juicy questions about Twin My Heart season two on this lie detector test and just juicy questions in general. So y'all have a little idea of what's to come. What's in store? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So Nessa, you're first. Let's get you hooked up to the machine. We're gonna be reading microscopic changes to your blood, sweat, and breathing. So please answer yes or no with your mouth only, no head or body movements. All right, Nessie, you ready? Yep. Have you ever flashed anyone in public? No. That's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> Nessie's! Nessa! Off to a great start. <laughs> Have you ever made a phone call while you were taking a poop? Yes. <laughs> True. Every morning. <laughs> <laughs> Neza! Sorry. Have you ever gotten out of a ticket by like smooth talking to the police officer? Yes. <gasps> True. Oh! How? I don't know. He. I think he just felt bad because I was crying so hard. <laughs> So That's your way of smooth talking. It's yeah. bad. <laughs> Have you ever streaked? No. That's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever had a crush on anyone that we've liked? Yes. True. Ooh. <laughs> Do you hate that my name is Vanessa too? Yes. True. <laughs> Franny, you ready? Never done this before. Let's have you ever did a silent but deadly fart in a crowded room and said, who farted? 
Yes. True. <laughs> yes. Come on, everyone's done that. Have you ever held someone down and farted on them? No. <laughs> That's a lie. <laughs> I don't remember. It must have been when I was little then. Have you ever walked into a glass door? Yes. True. <laughs> Me and Franny both. We saw some friends that we didn't want to see and we literally slammed into a wall. No. A glass wall. <laughs> we thought it was the door. <laughs> have you ever had a crush on one of your guy friends? Yes. True. Ooh. I wonder who. Do There's you? so many of them. I'm kidding. So for season two of Twin My Heart, do you think any of the guys are really cute? Yes. True. <laughs> do you actually see yourself dating one of these guys after the show? Yes. True. to last season, do you think this season is more dramatic? Yes. True. Yeah, it is. Oh my gosh. Yeah, way more like dramatic, it. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to leave the show? <laughs> no. <laughs> it says lie. <laughs> Daddy! Daddy! Do you hate Ronnie and I for putting you on the show? Oh. <laughs> That's good. Okay, okay you're done, Franny. <laughs> My hands are a puddle of sweat. Okay, we'll start off with a question that we all know is true. <laughs> Have you ever set your hair on fire? Yes. How? <laughs> it's true <laughs> times. How? Wait, what? I was making tacos. And because the stoves out here are open flame, I accidentally got my hair caught in it. <gasps> Don't let Nessa into the kitchen. Have you ever been caught dancing naked in front of a mirror? No. That's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> hey, moving on! No, no, no. Have you ever taken a dump while on a date? <laughs> yes. <laughs> True. <laughs> <laughs> but recently I haven't. I hold it in and it's okay. horrible. Yeah, it's bad. Have you ever deleted text messages so that your significant other wouldn't see who you were talking to? Yes. True. Oh! It's fine, we're all guilty. Yeah, we're, we're all guilty we're all of guilty that. Of Do you think I'm annoying? Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, I know I'm annoying. No way, that's everything. <laughs> Do you think any of the guys in this season of Twin My Heart are cute? Yes. True. <laughs> Don't okay. steal my mans, Nessa. I'm not. Do you wish that you would have done this season with the cast of boys we have for season two? No. That's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> they got some good boys for the season. Yeah, there's some good guys. Do you think you're the funnier twin? <laughs> no. That's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ronnie. Have you ever dated someone because they were rich? No. <laughs> Fail. <laughs> oh. I mean, it's a nice quality. <laughs> it's a I mean. Have you ever had uncontrollable gas? At work. Every day. Yes. True. <laughs> so if y'all oh, smelling something, it's, it's Ronnie. Ronnie. <laughs> I know, I deal with it every day. I'm sorry I'm lactose intolerant. Have you ever cock blocked a friend? <laughs> no. That's a lie. <laughs> Me! <laughs> Me! You? Yes! <laughs> Has someone complained about your breath after kissing them? <laughs> <laughs> yes! No! True? No, Ronnie, no! <laughs> Have you ever created a fake social media account to stalk another person? <laughs> <laughs> hell yeah! She said, hell yeah! Yes! True. 
We oh. all have. Are you surprised by how intense this season is? Yes. True. Do any of the boys on this season have a crush on either of you twins? Yes. True. Ooh. <laughs> nah, That's the tea. Have you ever been scared being in the car with Vanessa before? Yes. <laughs> True. <laughs> okay, ask, ask me those questions. I'll say the same thing. <laughs> All right, well, that was some juicy things we learned about everyone. Yeah. They become annoying. Hold on. I feel no, very exposed. In a loving way. Yeah, I, I just want to know who Nessa thinks is cute out of the guys that we all liked. Huh? Oh, Ooh. I did say that. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> all right, you guys, subscribe to Nessa's channel, subscribe to Franny's channel, subscribe to our channel, but most importantly, subscribe to Awesomeness TV. Woo! Woo! Stay tuned for the trailer of season two of Twin My Heart. There's a lot that's going on. Oh my goodness, guys, gracious. it's been extremely. It's intense. This so, season's intense. Y'all don't want to miss you it. Don't wanna miss you don't want to miss it right now. You don't want to miss it. it. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Hey guys, I'm Veronica. I'm Vanessa. And welcome to the sixth and final episode of Twin, Twin My, My Heart, the podcast. podcast. Oh, oh no, it's on, sad. On this podcast, we've been talking about all the episodes of Twin My Heart, going deep into the behind the scenes, spilling tea. Make sure to go watch the last episode first. If you haven't seen it, you don't wanna miss it because we are gonna be talking about major, major spoilers, like who wins and stuff. All right, but before we get into the podcast, we're actually gonna be playing a quick game. We're going to be doing season two, Twin My Heart Trivia. trivia. We've got our wonderful person over here to the right named Paul Dad. What's up, everybody? He's going to be asking us some questions. And we've got whiteboards, and we're going to write down our answers and what we think it is. And then we're going to see at the end of the trivia who won. Who has the most points? Who and knows the most twin my heart the most? Make sure to play along with us at home or wherever you are. See how many answers you can get right. Let's All go. Right, let's... First question. Okay. Who said, it freaks me out to start feeling a connection to somebody who I don't know in a context where I could lose them right away? Oh, oh shoot. Man. I don't know. I'm guessing on this one. You ready? Ryan. That is correct. Really? Ooh. It freaks me out to start feeling connected to somebody who I don't know in a context of where I could lose them right away. <laughs> Snap. Ooh. That was kind of hard. At first I thought it was Neza who said that. Oh, but yeah, I remember that. When he said that, poor Ryan. Which Twin My Heart contestant is a personal trainer? Oh, everyone should know this one. Troy. <laughs> poor Troy. All right, okay. next. What is Neza's astrological sign? Oh, shoot. shoot. Oh, it was in the show. I don't know. I'm not into Hold on. astrology. I don't even know how to spell it. Okay, she's cancer. definitely not Cancer. Cancer. Uh, after. She is, in fact, a Capricorn. January 13th, you know that. You guys are way I, Sorry, I, I just spelled Neza. prices. You, oh, you didn't spell it right. All right, are you ready? Yes, yes. What instrument did Connor play in the making of the band contest? Oh, I forgot what it was called. You guys are musicians, you should know this. I'm making it up. I'm making it up too. I made it up. One, two, three. The baboon. <laughs> <laughs> I said a bongo. He did not play a bongo. He played that big See, oh, I was gonna say a giant. You played balloon. a baboon. What was it called? <laughs> did you redo? Oh, a, a what? what? Did you redo? Uh, did you redo? Uh, did you redo? Who was the first person to get out of the van on the first day? Got it. Three, two, one. Vince. That is correct. Oh, thank God. I was like concerned for a second. Ooh. Oh my gosh, this is hard trivia. How are you guys doing? All right, I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay. Next question. What was the first gift Ryan gave to Franny? Hold on. Wait. Don't tell me. Three, two, two one. one. Anxiety gift basket. Stress basket. Well, 
I think you both get a point. They said self care kit. Oh, oh well, well, I thought it was like for, for, for her anxiety and stress. It was like a basket full of. Yeah, things. we get the point. I we get, get it. Point. We, we get, get the point. Boom, we got wow, it. Wow, we're tied. Stop All being right. a twin. <laughs> Name the guys who kissed Franny and in order. Okay, I got it. Dude, Franny got some action on this show. <laughs> she did. Ryan, Ryan Denzel Tage. You are both correct. Yay! Which Mooney brother won MVP twice? I know this one. Got it. Three, two, one. Dustin. Yes. Two time MVP winner. Okay, no one else has won MVP twice. Dustin for the win. Last one. Oh gosh. Who said, this is getting real now. You start off as friends getting to know the guys, but now you're only here for one reason, and one reason only. I don't know. Shoot. I'm, I got it wrong. I know I got it wrong. I got it wrong too, Three, but two, it's one. just, oh, Naza. No, neither. It is Vince. This is getting real now. I mean, you start off as friends, getting to know the guys, but now you are only here for one reason and one reason only. Oh, I had a feeling it was Vince. You were kind of close. All right. Do you have a tiebreaker question for us? Any Twin My Heart trivia? Season one, season two, doesn't matter. Okay. What kind of guitar did Ryan play? What kind of guitar did Ryan play? For the tiebreaker. Do you know this? Three, two, one. A Martin. Fender. Oh, I forgot. It's a Fender Stratocaster. Okay, that's yes, a win. I knew that. It was a Fender Stratocaster. I won. It's it's because my dad and Ryan talked about it. Yes, our dad was on set with us. All right, that was fun. Hope you guys enjoyed playing along with us. Make sure to stay tuned to listen to the podcast. You won't want to miss it. You can listen to the podcast on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, or anywhere you can find podcasts. We'll be there, Twin My Heart the Podcast. And make sure to subscribe to Austin's TV too. Turn on the bell button to get notified. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Hi. Oh, I'm kidding. Hello, welcome. Hey guys, it's the Merrill Twins. And we're on the set of season two of Twin My Heart. And we're just gonna take you through the day. We're going to start with a mini house tour. This entrance, this entrance. We have some funny. stuff over there. Wow. The stairs are really cool. And then this house is like three different living rooms. There's a head right there. Yes. Okay, look at this view. So that's actually Runyon Canyon. So if you guys ever come hike on Runyon Canyon, uh, you'll be able to see the Twin My Heart house. Here, now I'll film you. Let's take you guys downstairs. Yes. The wine, the wine cellar with red light bulbs and it's really creepy. Well, look at this. Insert creepy music. Ding, 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 ding. You wanna see what's inside? You can open it. <gasps> oh, heck no. Don't go in there. No, it's shutting the door. Can you scare me? <laughs> Let's get out, let's get out. Insert happy music. I'm surprised no one has made this joke yet. Oh, twin my heart. I've already found my knight in shining armor. Okay, so. But yeah, here's a gym. It's really cool. You're literally lifting up your own body weight. We do yoga. I don't think that's how you do yoga. <laughs> no. No. Falling up. And one, two, four. Let's go to the pool. We have another beautiful view and a punching bag. <clears throat> Those people over there are like, what are the girls doing? So here's the pool. The pool is kind of inappropriate. So yeah, I think it's like kind of like the outside of the house. Really pretty. That's pretty much like the tour. Yeah. I make this little breakfast every morning for everyone. So I'm making bacon, but I just made this scrambling for everyone who's staying in the house. See, look at that. You can have some. <laughs> so now we're getting ready to film our group challenge for the day. You guys are in for a treat. This is gonna be fun. Say hi, camera. 
The other boys are ready for their dates. One -on -one dates. Okay. So you guys gotta get ready for that. So the girls are about to go on a date. So while that is happening, Nessa and I, we are currently in the middle of a very important game that we must finish because we're so close to defeating it. Let's go find Nessa. Okay, Nessa, you wanna beat the video game? All right, let's play. We're playing it on this TV. I got my Switch. Let's defeat the ghosts. This zooms really far. We didn't beat the boss ghost, but it's time for lunch. Time for lunch. So, so I'm hungry. I'm hungry too. We hungry. We hungry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and I, I have a lot more food. On. So I have to go do intros and confessionals right now. So I'm gonna take you guys to the room where we do confessionals. This is the room. There's Ronnie. This is Taylor. Throughout the day, we come back in here and we just talk about things that happen. Yes, let's do this. There's Kat. The <laughs> There's just no pleasing you, is there? You barely ate my eggs this morning. I was letting other people have them. Okay, so we are moments away from elimination. Oh We're in God. our dresses. Very nice. Here's Ronnie's dress. Lovely. Anyways, this is the most nerve-wracking part of my heart. I'm um, so curious to see what's going to happen. Well, well, you're going to have to watch, watch the show to see who wins and or not. But we'll talk to you guys after the eliminations. And you'll see our reactions. We're wrapped. We have season wrapped two. season two of, of Twin My Heart. I, it is a bittersweet feeling. Really I sad. cried a lot. <laughs> I teared up a lot, but I'm probably just gonna cry off camera. We'll introduce you guys to some of the crew. This is Aaron. Hello, He's, I'm Aaron. I don't know what he does. <laughs> <laughs> this is Romel. He's the sound, sound guy. guy. He knows all the tea. Uh, everything. Tina, <laughs> will you say hi to the vlog? Hi. What do you do, Tina? I'm a coordinator, so I pay <laughs> people. And pay for this house and things like that. Boom, Boom. that's, she's important, we need her. Oh, I did it. Nessa, she's booed up now. I'm booed up. You will have to watch the show. Oh, maybe don't. What do you have to say about that, Nessa? I am uh, booed up, booed up. <laughs> what do you have to say about that? Oh, they're setting up a shot. I'll show you guys the shot. It's for the slow-mo shots at the end. Oh. Montage the montage scene. scene of them all the couples being happy. Oh. Oh. oh, there's a winner right there. We can't show him. You guys will have to watch. You'll have to watch. You'll have to watch the show to see who who, who the winners are. So Ramel, D-Miking, Ronnie. Me Thank you guys so much for watching this vlog where you got a sneak peek of season two of Twin My Heart. Make sure to stay tuned for when the episodes come out. It's gonna be a great season. Don't forget to turn on the bell notification so you don't miss a video. And subscribe, subscribe to, to our channel. channel. Subscribe to Awesomeness TV. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Hey guys, I'm Veronica. I'm Vanessa. And today we are going to be seeing how well the Merrill Twins know the Merrill Twins. So we are gonna get a quote from one of our past videos and we are gonna guess who said it. Yeah, who said it and we might guess what the video is too. Yeah. All Let's right. do this. First quote, mint leaves are edible. I'm That's guessing. That's totally Ronnie on Food Truck Fanatics. That is not m me. Yes, on the lemonade stand. That was The you. lemonade truck, no, uh, I've known mint leaves are edible. Well, I know that too. No, you don't. Now you do because you asked it on the show. Who's right, who's right? Mint leaves are edible? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I didn't know we had mint leaves in our garden that we put in soup. But I thought you just take them out and avoid them. <laughs> no. Mm. I guess Nessa gets the point. I thought it was you who said that. Yeah, I'm not stupid. We have such small boobs. Why you gotta put us on the spot like that? <laughs> Don't look. 
be honest, I I've have said that before. I've said that before too. I'm gonna guess that it was. I'm gonna guess it a was video on Awesomeness TV. Maybe like Closet Wars. An IMO. Oh. Talking IMO. about our insecurities. And I think we you both said, said it. it. We both okay. said it. Yeah, I think we both said it. I think you said it. Okay, you say we both did. I think you said it. Okay. Okay, what's the answer? <laughs> we have such small boobs. No way. Okay, That's next one. I ain't <laughs> sharing my shoes. I think that is definitely you. In Closet Wars? Closet Wars. A Closet Wars episode. I ain't sharing my shoes. Yeah. Probably so because I don't share my shoes. I ain't sharing my shoes. Well, I'm not giving you my shoes either. I guess I gotta Boom. Go. Boom. That's quite a fryer. It's not as loud as the other ones. Dude, who the heck said that? Yeah, that's definitely Food Truck Fanatics on one of like the, the trucks where there's french fries you could fry or something. I feel like you would say yeah, that, Yeah, I was about Ronnie. to say, I, that's something I would say. Like, I would definitely be like, oh, that's cool. Oh, fire. Like, I would be the one to compliment the fire. I think I said it. You know what, I think I said it. Me, Vanessa. That's a, that's a quiet fryer. It's not as loud as the other ones. It's gentle. It's a gentle one. Yep. I am failing. Here's, here's why, because I say that's quite, I say quite a so lot. So do I, I say I that too. I don't ever remember you saying anything. I don't remember you saying quite either. It's because I know I say it, because I say it I say time. it too. Oh, fine, whatever, okay. Next quote. You know when you have really bad diarrhea and you just feel it? That's me. That's totally that's you. In uh, probably like an IMO IMO or talking about like embarrassing moments. Like embarrassing moments or like period cramps or something. I don't know. I'm trying to say if you're a boy, the closest feeling to like a cramp is when you have a bad diarrhea. Yeah, it's totally you. That's what is, what's the answer? You know when you have like really bad diarrhea and you just like feel it? <laughs> that's so, oh, that's so sad cool. though. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm a heartbreaker, I'm a total heartbreaker. That's totally me. I 100% said that in an IMO. Uh, no. Actually, I've said that so no. many times. No, 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 no. It's with tea Tila. time with Tila. Tea time with Tila. Tea time with Tila. I think at the time, like, I think I was not talking to anyone. I think. It's me. I said it. Okay. Tea time with Tila. I said it. I'm going to say it's you. But I'm going to be so mad if it's me because I have a feeling I said it. Okay, what's the answer? Well, I'm a heartbreaker. I'm a total <laughs> she heartbreaker. Is a heartbreaker. I've broken up with every single guy. I thought I have the worst memory. What in the world? I won! Oh. I know the Merrill twins! Okay, in my defense, I think that's all. It's hard to remember what you said in the past or who said it, especially since we like tend to share like memories of like do you know. We share a lot of memories and sometimes we get confused of which things happen to us. Yeah. Anyways, comment down below if you guys got the right answers of who said what. Do you know the Merrill Twins as well as we, well, me, I know the Merrill Twins. <laughs> or maybe you're like me. You are a Merrill Twin and you barely know them. Speaking of heartbreaking, we are on the set of our show. I'm gonna be breaking some hearts, so you won't want to miss that. Make sure to subscribe to Awesomeness TV, subscribe to our channel, give this video a thumbs up, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Go! Oh. Oh. It's I give it to me. Oh, give it to me. Gosh. Go! How did they do this hack? Hey guys, I'm Veronica. I'm Vanessa. We're, we're the Merrill Twins. Twins. And today we're going to be testing out viral TikTok hacks to see if they actually work. So the first TikTok hack we're going to try is making popcorn with a flat iron. I don't know if that's going to work. I don't know either. So we have some little kernels from our favorite popcorn. What Let's do you explain. do? You don't know how to do this? No. Okay, so you put the popcorn kernel in here and you keep it at 450. Okay. And then you wait for it to pop. Place it down. Does it actually work? 
Oh, 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 sorry, sorry, it's really, it's freaking me out. Hey, yeah, hey, yeah, I can do it. Let me do hey, it. Yeah, okay. Who thought of this? Oh, oh. oh. Nessa. Oh, it's hot. Don't touch it. <laughs> Here, do you want me to do it? No, I got it. Oh, oh, oh. It's, I, give it to me. Oh, give it to me. Gosh. Oh. How did they do this hack? No, 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 no. There. What? Okay, I've got it. Nice. All these Dude. kernels pop. What? This is hurting my arm. Do you want me to hold your arm for you? Yes. It looks like it's gonna pop. I know, it looks like it's gonna pop. It looks pop. like it's gonna pop! Sorry, I didn't mean to yell. <laughs> From now on, we'll probably just cook our popcorn normally. <laughs> so the next hack is taking a wrinkled dollar and using a flat iron to, to smooth, smooth it out. out. Oh, maybe we should wash the popcorn stuff. It's clean. So you got your dollar? Does it actually, will it burn the dollar? <gasps> oh my gosh, it smoked. Ooh, you gotta go fast. It's smoking it. Cause the money's hot. Wow, well this is actually working. It is working. It smells like money in here. Just like how I smell every day. <laughs> that worked, look at that. Look at that. All right, the next hack we're going to do is a cool way to fold the bag so you don't need to use a clip. I guess you grab the top and you fold. fold. You're doing it wrong. No, I'm not. You do this and then you do this and then you roll it. What did I do wrong? Everything. All right, well let's watch this video again. We did that. No, we didn't do that. So you do this, and then you do this. You roll, and you roll, and then you flip it like that. Yay! I did it! We're going to be separating the egg whites from the egg yolk. I was thinking about it today. I don't pronounce the L in yolk. You're not supposed to, are you? Yolk? Ew, whatever. I Anyways. think it's silent. Egg yolk. We need to separate the egg whites from the egg yolk. So you can do it with the water bottle, apparently. That's a big egg yolk. That is a big egg oh yolk. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay, so using the water bottle, you can suck up the yolk. Here we go. <gasps> is expanding the cream inside of your Oreo cookie. Now the TikTok we saw, I'm not sure if it's real or not. I saw a lot of the comments saying that it was a marshmallow that was used. I don't know, so we're going to see if this hack is actually real or not. We already have double stuffed Oreos. Mmm, the temptation to eat it right now. So uh, apparently you just hold it and you just blow dry it and it gets bigger. These people are gonna make us look like idiots if this doesn't work. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh, oh wait, oh, oh, wait. I think we're melting it. Turn it, is it expanding? Ow, um, it's melting! It's melting, ouch, this burns! Ah. <laughs> this is not working. Ronnie. Do you want to expand your Oreo? Well, don't use a blow dryer, because it'll melt it. Yeah, I think it, it shrunk. <laughs> this hack is the putting on a bracelet by yourself hack. Thankfully, Nessa and I, growing up, we have, we each, have each other. other. So we've always been able to help each other put on our bracelet. So what you need is your bracelet and a paper clip. Now, for the paper clip, you're supposed to separate it, like so, and then what? You hook it like this, okay? You do this! I got it, I got it, I got it. You do this, and then you clip it. Oh! I didn't get a good, ah! Ow. <laughs> now you're supposed to grab it like this, and then okay. you hook it. Oh, okay, okay. Here I go. 
I'm gonna do it. It's happening. I just can't get a grip. Oh! Yay! Oh. oh. <laughs> Yay! Oh, you did it! This is the hanger eyebrow hack where you put a hanger right here and then you're supposed to fill in your eyebrows and you're supposed to shape your eyebrows very nicely. Yeah. Ah. Oh, your eyebrows do not go all the way up there. Oh, okay. I would not put that in your mouth. You don't know where that's been. I don't think we have the right kind of hanger. Oh, maybe that. No! What are you doing? I was gonna fill it for you. Oh my god. It's supposed to shape your eyebrow. I don't have time to do this every morning. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> what is that? And why did you ruin my eyebrow? <laughs> I doubt it. I, I was just outlining. Okay. Here we go. Ronnie, this is not an eyebrow pencil. Yes, it is. It's a brow flick. It's clearly eyeliner. It's a brow flick. It's for your brows. You're supposed to make little, like. <laughs> Ooh. Well, I definitely outlined the bottom part of my eyebrow. <laughs> Put it back up. Oh. Oh, no, Ronnie. No, Ronnie. <laughs> oh no! Okay, I feel better about my eyebrows now. Oh my gosh, Ronnie, you done messed up. Hangers are meant to hang close, not not to, to fix, fix your, your brows. brows. So the last hack we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing a candle hack where you can repurpose your candle jars by putting boiling hot water into them and getting rid of the wax. Oh, hot water. Ooh, ooh. Ow, it burned my hand. <laughs> I yeah. guess you can do it in my I'll just too. do yours. Okay. I don't know how much. It's like look, a, the little... Oh my gosh, look, there's bubbles. There's bubbles. DIY lava lamp. Oh, really, what? Yeah, huh? Wait, running, look. Go down more. Okay. <laughs> you have like one giant eye. Oh my gosh, mine's floating up. <gasps> All of it? Yeah. So you have to, to let it in cool. the fridge. You're supposed to let this cool. Yeah, and put out. it in the fridge, and then, and then that solidifies. solidifies, and then you can take that part out. Yeah. And you know, repurpose the wax. Okay, I'm waiting for wow. mine to go. Come on, candle. My candle's just better. I'm gonna go put mine in the fridge. Okay, be careful, it's still hot. We've taken our candles out and they've solidified on the top. Poke Push it with it. your hands. Look at that! Wow! <gasps> right. Look! Oh my gosh, I did it! Oh, wait, I did it! We did it! it smells Whoa. really good. Okay. Good job. I need to go fix my eyebrow. Well, that was fun. Yes, it was. Comment down below in the comments what TikTok hack was your favorite that we tried out. My least favorite was the eyebrow hanger hack. Anyway, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to Awesomeness TV. And while you're at it, subscribe to us as well. Also, follow us on Instagram and follow Awesomeness TV too. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Hey guys, I'm Veronica. I'm Vanessa. And today we are answering the web's most searched questions, part two. We have a part one on our channel. The link will be in the description below if you wanna go check that out. So let's do it. Did the Merrill twins date the Dolan twins? No. But I can't believe that is a searched question. That's hilarious. Oh my gosh, sorry to all the Shippers, shippers out shippers. there. No, never they're great them. guys. They're great guys, super kind, but no, we, we have, have not dated, dated them. them. How old are the Merrill twins? Well, we, we are, are 23. 23. We are 45 minutes apart. I'm the older one, she's the younger one, obviously. I was born normal, she was C-sectioned. Yep. Is Veronica getting married? To what? <laughs> to, to who? who? No. Do you see a ring on my finger? Do the Merrill twins have siblings? No. no. Unless you count our dog Tiger and our cat Corky, we have two little brothers. That doesn't really count. It's just us two. Yeah. <laughs> Who is the Merrill twins' dad? Our dad is Paul Merrill. Hello. This is him. Okay. Bye-bye. Did, Did the Merrill, Merrill twins go to college? college? Yes. yes. We are still trying to figure out what we're doing with our college careers, but as of right now, we are on hiatus. Yes. 
We want to continue our education and think it's very important. And I love learning anyway. Mm -hmm. So does she. So yes. yeah, we plan on continuing until we finish. Yes, we were doing part-time for four years. What is the Merrill Twins dog? Oh, our, our dog, dog Tiger. Tiger is seven years old and he loves begging for treats. He loves eating and sleeping. He's a big diva, actually. Oh, he's the To be worst. honest. Oh, we love him. Yes, we love him. I'm Tiger's second favorite. Our mom is the favorite. But when she's not around, it's me. He loves me the most. Sometimes he'll come and lay with me, though. He'll push open my door in the morning to be like, hello, let me sleep with you. I know, but he listens to me and loves me. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> I mess with Tiger sometimes. She's mean to him. That's I'm not why he mean likes me more him. than you. Yes, it is. It's really funny to go <laughs> on his stomach. because he, he, he hates that. He hates that, but I've never done that to him. He trusts me. <laughs> what languages do the Merrill twins speak? We speak English and a little bit of Spanish. Un poquito. It's more like we understand a little bit of it. I understand like when my grandparents and my mom are talking with each other and I can answer in English, I just don't know how to answer in Spanish. What instruments do the Merrill Twins play? I play piano, guitar, violin, ukulele, and I play piano, cello, bass, guitar. I used to play the violin, I still can. If I try. I can kind of play the ukulele too. I know a few songs. Ooh, this is a good question. Does Vanessa Merrill have a boyfriend? Well, actually, we are on the set of our new show where the group of guys are going to compete to win my heart. So if you want to find out who my boyfriend is gonna be, and maybe the question will be answered. Will she get a boyfriend? Be on the lookout for those episodes coming soon. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to Awesomeness TV. Subscribe to our channel as well. And we will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. So Bennett, you said you had something you to wanted confess? to confess? Yeah, something to confess. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. My stomach just dropped. Hey guys, I'm Veronica. I'm Vanessa. And, and welcome, welcome to, to the Twin, Twin My Heart Season 2 reunion. reunion. We originally planned to do this in person, but because we're all staying home, we decided to do the next best thing, which is a video chat. We're gonna bring out Neza and Franny a little bit later, but first we're gonna catch up with the season two contestants of Twin My Heart and their perspectives about the show and being on it. So with us today on our video chat, we have all the guys from season two of Twin My Heart. Say hi. Hi. Hey, Maddie. Unfortunately, we don't have Tage with us, but we're going to continue anyways. <laughs> Before we get into the questions, we just wanna know how you guys are doing and what you have guys been up to since Twin my heart. Anyway, I've just been chilling. Guys. I'll go. I've just been chilling. I mean, I've had a lot of time since I was like the first one eliminated, but that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> so during quarantine, we've been staying safe. We've been working on our YouTube channel, which is called Dustin and Denzel, which has been really, really fun. And I've been learning Spanish, honestly. Let's hear some Spanish. Let's yeah. hear it. Let's hear it. Soy Denzel y mi hermano Dustin. Yep. Uh, él es Mucho, mucho feo. Mucho, mucho, mucho. Oh no! No! <laughs> what that mean? That you're really ugly. ugly. Hey, ugly. He said ugly. ugly. <laughs> so for this season, I had the opportunity to pick the guys that Franny and Nessa would be potentially dating. Mm -hmm. um, so we've got some questions for the boys. So this season we had major bromances from Connor and Bennett, Tage, Dustin and Denzel, Ryan and Vince, um, but I feel like two guys didn't really see eye to eye. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> let's let's take a look. Yeah, is my voice is my voice and mine? Shut up, shut up. Some of the guys is just too much, man. Like you can't be around them for too long. Like you know, like Connor with his voice, like kind of gets annoying. Sounds like Squidward, like talking. Like, bro, like, <laughs> you know, trying to compete. The amount of times I've had to rewatch this. What's oh, wrong? Man. What's wrong, Dennis? Are you Ty Ty? Do you need up, a nap? Bro. I need a one-on-one with him to smack him across the head. Yeah. Maybe yeah. that'll fix your voice. Yeah? No, Sounds it's like a guy. Sounds like so? a man, though. I, I think, I'm, I'm right, right here. Oh. What's up, bro? Yeah, what's up? Oh, hey, hey. Dennis, Dennis. Dennis, what was going 
gone through your head when you were coming for Connor. <laughs> yeah, it was just part of my plan, I guess. Uh, something I didn't want to do, obviously, but... His plan, find the toughest thing. guy, and then... <laughs> <laughs> Connor, what was, what was going on through your mind? So much. <laughs> <laughs> it happened so fast for me. I was like, whoa, what's going on? <laughs> the best part about that was immediately after, like the clip after, you just see Bennett right in between us. Like, this huge guy, like, okay, you two, no more. <laughs> oh, no hard feelings, right? Yeah, Definitely I not. I love, I love everybody in the show, man. So, CJ, uh, you seem to be in the middle of the guys' jokes here and there. Why do you think CJ. you were a target? <laughs> I honestly have no idea why I was a target. I do have a bone to pick with one of the guys, though. I heard when I left that one of the guys could not keep their name out of my mouth, and that was Dennis. I just want to know why. What was the reason? Shots! Bro, CJ, bro. C CJ, CJ was my best friend in there, man. All the guys literally came and told me like everything that you were saying. So I was just like, I don't even know this guy, so why? You gotta keep keep alive in there, I mean, you gotta have everybody, you gotta have fun with everybody. That's how it started though, that's how it started, because like at the beginning it was like, yo CJ! And then everybody started doing it, so it just kept going. Yeah, I guess. I mean, there's nothing bad about it. It's not like I was trying to like talk shit for real, because I could have done that. <laughs> Right. He just missed you. Well, okay. okay. But for the most part, it's all still love, right? <laughs> yes. Yes. So on Twin My Heart, we are known for surprises, which is why we decided to hook up all the guys to a lie detector test to see who is there for the right or wrong reasons. Let's take a look. Do you actually want to be here to find love? No. Inconclusive. Do you have feelings for Franny? No. That's true. <laughs> Troy? <laughs> I have no words. When you pulled Neza to dance, were you trying to make me jealous? No. That's a lie. <laughs> Look at Faith's face! Look at my face! <laughs> I really wasn't trying to make Franny jealous. That was not my intention at all. Oh, oh my God. Poor Troy. Yeah. <laughs> Raise of hands, did Troy's answer surprise anyone? Oh, a thousand percent. All the way. He fooled me. Yeah. I'll tell you that. He fooled me. Why Why did was it surprising? It definitely shocked me because I feel like um, day one, when we were outside talking to Franny, you and her really clicked. Like, you guys were from New Jersey. You guys shared a lot of similarities. She picked you for the first date. I went in hopeful, absolutely. But then after being put in the bottom three after the first date, it made me, like, just feel like this pressure. And it was just like, okay, well, like, I really want to get to know her better. And I felt like I was just put in a bad spot so i was hoping to build that up and then i unfortunately did not get there and then at that point i'm just like i want to be honest i'm like i thought about lying but i'm like i just want to be honest and obviously we saw the outcome a lot of fun so i understood what happened it just it was a bummer so bennett and cj how are you feeling knowing you you guys got kicked off and that he was still on the show answering these things when i heard that he wasn't there looking for love i was like i could have been on the show longer and like replace him. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Ben, and do you have anything to add on to that? Yeah, so actually, I have a confession that I want to yeah, share, yeah. but I wanted to wait until Nez and Franny joins. Um, but in terms of the lie detector test, Troy, I believe you and I got your back. Thank you, Ben. I believe Troy too, yeah. Oh, thank you guys. You guys are great. <laughs> So we have so much more to talk about. Let's bring out Neza and Franny onto the video chat and get their take on things. Hi, Franny and Neza. Hi. Hey, Hi, guys. How does it feel to be here and seeing everyone? It's crazy seeing everyone. I feel like we haven't seen each other in so no. seeing, long. Seeing everyone is like... <laughs> It's just, wow. Okay, so let's get right into it. You guys have been friends for years, and this show definitely put your friendship to the test. How did it affect your guys' friendship? Did it make you stronger? Like, I think it showed different sides to both of us that we hadn't seen, because we, Freddie and I have never been in any sort of, like, um, conflict. Conflict mm -hmm. or any sort of altercation. And we didn't really get into anything on the show, really. It was just kind of the heat of 
the moment. Yeah, and you would see small like like snaps at each other, I guess. It definitely brought us closer, I yeah. think. Um, I mean, honestly, I'm happy that I got to experience it with Mezzo. Yeah. Like, we got I don't to think we, I don't it think it would have been, it would have been a whole different If experience. I was alone, I probably would have Oh, it would have. <laughs> I don't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have been able to do it Yeah, alone. yeah, so. So one guy almost starting to come between the two of you guys in your friendships. Let's take a look at that. I don't know what to tell you. He, I'm just not gonna go on the date with Tej, but like I'm saying is that he came up to me asking for advice from you. I know, for you, uh, but, but I'm not, I'm not oh, gonna know that. I know, I oh. understand, but it doesn't mean that you can't go on a date with him. Like, why don't you just say like, hey, I know you got to I'm not know. gonna go on a date with him. Oh my God, like, I'm like sweating. Into you. But he's in. I like remember safe, but, oh, it so my perfectly. God. You really can go on a date. You, with you realize that you can. You should take him on a date. Gonna, Just say this. I say don't care I know that you went on the date. This the is date. a dating show, Franny. That's what we do. We have to like. You just, don't, it doesn't matter. I who. don't care. I don't want to be. I'm not gonna. I'm not. After him coming up to me and saying, "Hey, what is Neza like? What can I get Neza?" I'm gonna be like, "So I just gave you advice on what to give Neza." But I'm gonna take you on a date now. She's even laughing. She <laughs> looks stupid. I don't know what's happening right now. <laughs> Bro, this seems like years ago. Like, who is that? Who is she? Neza, why were you so determined to have Franny give Tage a chance? So I get, you know, I understand your intention of it. You wanted me to just like, ex like experience it, like go on the date. You don't know what's gonna happen. He was clearly of... into both of us, but I feel like because again, it's one well, of those you know things. What? He would look like a bad you know guy what? if he was just like bouncing from girl to girl. But it's a dating show. It's also I mean? weird how the argument wasn't even like we both wanted him. It was like no, we were like we were not like, at all. It was like I don't, want him, and I don't want to go on a date with him. It was like you take it. Like it wasn't even like I want him. I want him. So that whole thing made for a tricky love triangle between Nessa and Franny and Tage, which in the next episode, Tage decides to pull Franny aside and we all know what happens next. So let's pre-watch what happens next. Um, this, <laughs> oh my god. This, this should not be televised, man. <laughs> I can't watch. No, I can't no, watch. No. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. Just show you guys how I'm really feeling about the kisses, and I don't I, think I should have done it because I'm just oh been so overwhelmed. My goodness. Well, I I feel bad because Tage isn't here to yeah. you know. I know. Fr Franny, how are you feeling in that moment? Um, I was so confused. I mean, I was like crying and bawling my eyes out like 20 minutes before that, and I just. I'm gonna be honest, I didn't really want to kiss him. And I think I was just really so, it was so overwhelming. It was just so, I was like caught up in the moment because I was already crying and like, my brain was all over the place. He asked for the kiss and I was just like, okay. Like I just didn't, I don't know, like my brain just went okay, but like I wasn't okay with it in a weird way. Oh, um, you were not okay with it. You came to me and you were like, I don't know. I just was so all over the place. I just, I don't know. What did you guys think? about Tage kissing Franny in that moment, like when you learned about it. I was shocked, like Franny was shocked, like, whoa, where did this come from? <laughs> but in Tage's, in Tage's defense, you know, they, they were playing like playing drinking games downstairs, so maybe he was a little off and like, you know, Mick, he just missed the signals and everything. So I don't know, maybe it was just like, he felt like it was the right moment and it wasn't. Mm. Denzel, do you remember we were sitting on the couch and we were talking to... <laughs> Keegan or something, and he asked if anyone had kissed Franny yet, and then me and oh. you both said yes, <laughs> and then Tage was the only <gasps> one there who, it was the three of us, and he no, said No, Tage wasn't there, it was Troy, Troy was there. That was me, that oh, was Troy me. was there? Oh, yeah. I thought it was Tage a was there, and maybe that's why he did it, is because it, it happened right after that conversation, and I was like, No, Tage wasn't there, it was, it was me, you, Troy, and yeah. um, it was JC, and I think David was there, yeah. and then that's when we find out. See, that's where Vince played it smart, not telling anyone how far he was progressing with Neza. I played it close to the vest. So, Bennett, you said you had something you to wanted confess? to confess? Yeah, something to confess. So, uh, my, to my stomach just dropped. I have a confession for all of you guys. Um, when I got asked to do this show, um, I was kind of in a, a very delicate situation. Um, I had been talking to a girl that I met in Israel and um, I, I went into it with a lot of hope 
and with an open mind and an open heart. And I want to, you know, apologize. I had some feelings uh, reserved for someone else. So I don't know. I just think that affected my effort on the show and the way that I acted. So I just wanted to put that out there. Oh, okay. Wow. I, I think. I mean, I that think, makes um, now, and now it makes now, now the, everything makes sense yeah. because before we were like, we're like, what why the does, f? Is we're like, why? Issue? Yeah, why does he not talk? Why doesn't he like, not? What's look, going like, he on? He doesn't do anything. So now it makes sense. So in the end, though, Ness and Franny had to pick their final matches. So let's fast forward to the final elimination and let's watch the clip. Ryan, that means that you are a match for me. <laughs> oh, oh, so right. Right. Like, yes. oh, yeah. <laughs> so cute. Randy <laughs> wanted that kiss. Wow, really? Oh my god. My my god. Back back Am I sunburned? I see that. Am I sunburned? He said not sunburned. He was mad, right? Yeah. Vince, you are <laughs> the match for me. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> I'm <laughs> This is so crazy watching this. I feel this. This felt like this feels like years ago. Century ago. That's it. So that's like no, like heck no, heck no, 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 no. So cute. So cute. So cute. Aww. I'm not. I'm not crying. I'm just yawn. Oh, <laughs> I was like, well, Brandy, we're here uh, for you. You know that by now. So one last question. What? advice would you guys have for any contestants that were to be on season three of twin my heart if you go on it do it for the right reasons you know don't go and uh, waste time because at the end of the day like i wasted time for like everybody there like that could have been somebody else that could have been on the show and actually wanted something you know go into it like with an open mind like very Completely. open mindset. like literally just be open to anything and everyone like you just don't know who you're gonna meet no. be ready to be very emotionally unstable for a week yeah <laughs> <laughs> go in with no expectations and be open to anything and everything because you have no idea you know where the twins are gonna throw you what they're gonna put you through just be ready for anything as much as you can you only have a uh, so much time to show this person who you are so you need to just be your like shameless self and it's the connection it's not how like well you do on a date it's whether you have chemistry with this person or not i was gonna say the same thing and also be confident and when i ended up winning mvp i was like wow good thing i had that talk with myself so be true to yourself more and expect the unexpected well, i just want to say like applaud like applause to you guys for all being like you guys are still like cool with each other and i think that's really awesome and Hell yeah. yeah i didn't expect that yeah. to happen so i think that's really unique of you guys to have that attitude towards each other so yes. good job guys. i think it's what we all share this experience together you know that's why so speaking of season three we want to know who you guys would like to see us set up for season three of twin my heart so comment down below who you would like to see also, big shout out to everyone on this Zoom call. We miss you guys. Hope you guys are staying safe. Thanks for joining this and filming this video. <laughs> subscribe to Awesomeness TV. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to all of our channels. If you guys want to know if Franny and Nessa are still with their guys, stay tuned for a video coming up on Awesomeness TV very soon. Bye. 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 Hey guys, I'm Neza. I'm Veronica. I'm Vanessa. And I'm Franny. And today we are on the set of the second season of Twin My Heart! Surprise! We have Nessa and Franny finding love this season. So look out for the trailer coming soon. It's gonna be crazy. So for this video, we are doing a challenge. We're doing best friend versus best friend to see who knows us, Meryl twins, the best. <laughs> Make sure to play along to see how well you guys know us. This will be interesting. Yeah, who do you guys think is gonna win? You don't know? If it's I don't know. not a tie, I'm going to be disappointed. Disappointed. Ooh. Ooh. Wait, <laughs> that's a, kidding. I'm you're gonna lose. Oh. Sorry. <gasps> oh. oh! Oh! All right, guys, so the first question is more towards me. Okay. Who is my celebrity crush? I know when you say it, I'm gonna scream because I'm probably gonna be like, oh my god, yeah, I know. Oh, she got it right. 
I don't know. I think she got it right. I, I have don't know. I have several. I know. And I've talked to you about them before. Honestly, I let me just. <laughs> I don't know. Could be. Ready? One, two, three. Who's Zac Efron? Tom Holland. <gasps> oh my God! I was gonna put Tom Holland. Tom Holland. So weird. It is Tom Holland. <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Nessa talks about Tom Holland all the time. Oh, I do. I do. Nessa. I was literally going to put Tom Holland, and I was like. Well, I maybe I, I wasn't sure if it was you or someone else told me that. Dude, okay. There's like ship accounts and everything. Of okay, me and Tom. Well, yeah, yeah. Tom Nessa. That. Tom Ness. Tessa. Tom Nessa. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm right. all that. Tom Nessa. Hold okay, on. so Nessa gets a point. Fanny, you have Great. zero. <laughs> Let's move on to the next question. Question number two. Who did I originally think was going to win Nessa's heart in the first season of Win My Heart? Dude, I have no Original idea. Originally? Yes, we've talked about this, you guys. Dang. Original. Originally, we're, we're like who you like are. from the very start. Who you were like, the that's the day. guy. That's the guy that ne ne Nessa's gonna end up with. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm just gonna. Okay, I'm just gonna. I don't, I don't think this is right. Let me see. One, two, three. Brandon. Alex. Alex. I almost. <laughs> Other Alex, not Wasabi. Yeah, 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 yeah,
now is Neza is in the lead with three points and Franny has two, two and a half. half. Common. All right, so next question is, what is my favorite holiday? Okay. I don't even know. What's I don't know. I know that. I don't Dude. know. I feel like most people's is like Christmas, but I feel like yours isn't Christmas for some reason. Okay, I don't know. We're like Halloween or something. Um, let's see. Okay, let's go. Camera on. And two, one. Christmas. Christmas. Yes! I love Christmas. Next question. What are our middle names? I should know this. And I don't. I don't think I know at all. I don't think you've ever said. Oh, I've definitely was. asked. We're all, mm, dude. I'm whatever just, sounds right to me. Vanessa, mm, no, Veronica, mm, no, okay, let's see. Uh, yeah, I it's feel like definitely me. I don't think it's either of these. It's neither. Okay, right. ready? One, One two, two, three. three. Paulina. Wait, hold on. What in the world? Paulina. Paulina's oh, name switched. <laughs> Vanessa Veronica Merrill? I'm Veronica Vanessa Merrill. Okay, ready? So one. We have the same middle name. Okay, what is it? Uh, one, two, three. Joe. I maybe I didn't know that. Because I, I wouldn't remember reacting to that. That's our grandpa's yeah. name. I would literally be on a cliff <laughs> ready for someone to push me off and they're like, tell me their middle name, I would be dead. Yeah. <laughs> like Joe? there's no Joe? way I would have gotten Joe. All right, so no one gets a point. What are our perfect dates? Like separately or like, is it the same thing? Separately. separately. You could just say it out loud. You don't have to write it. Okay, I think I got it. Go for Nessa first. Yeah, we'll wait for like a sunset picnic or dinner or something. Like view picnic. Honestly, that is actually correct. Okay, so that's half a point. So then what about me? What's my perfect date? Uh, I don't know. Are you stressing over there? Dude! Pop a vein. Yeah, it's so she might have like explode. I don't know, a safari? Okay. Hello? That's a, I don't know. I'm, wrong like, I'm thinking like Malibu wine safari type situation. Like like animals, um, drinking wine, dinner, something. I don't know, that's what I'm thinking. Uh. You Wait, can like, I change my answer? I feel like, sure, go ahead. Yeah, sure. Going out to dance, dancing. Okay. Like a salsa club or something. I feel like, I don't know. I feel like we're similar in the sense of like, we're like older souls. I feel like they're similar in a different, like Okay, that just too. say it. I feel like, She's like she would want to go out to like a place that you can have drinks and like listen to live music, like oldies, like jazz music. <laughs> Yes, that is right. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I win! I win! Comment down below what your idea of a perfect date is because let me tell you, you guys, there are some really good first dates happening on season two of Twin My Heart. Ooh, I'm excited! <laughs> I'm, I'm, sweating. I'm so, I literally am sweating. I know, I, when, every, time, every time you just <laughs> say, Season two, twin my heart, my hands are so I know, sweating. we just can, we still can't believe that it's about happening. Everything. All right, you guys gotta stay tuned for season two. Stay tuned. Subscribe to Awesomeness TV, subscribe to our channel, subscribe to Neza, subscribe to Franny. Give and this video a thumbs up. We'll see you guys next time. Woo! Bye. Bye. Are Vince and Neza still together? Hey, hey guys. guys, it's Neza. It's Vince. Today we're gonna answer some fan questions that you guys sent in on Insta and YouTube about season two of Twin My Heart. And this is the next best thing that we could do since we couldn't be together in person during quarantine. We're gonna do as much as we can and share as much as we can with you during this. Yeah. Through Zoom. So let's do it. First question, which guys were you instantly attracted to on the first day? <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, um, you were the one that you know, caught my eye right, right away. I think it was just between you and Dustin. And then the weird thing is that like, Bennett was also kind of up there, but then obviously like personalities like didn't end up matching, but. Yeah, no, I knew where I stood. Okay, so question number two is, what is our favorite thing about each other? Physically, it's your eyes and your smile. Um, Non-physical attraction, it has to be just work ethic, 
you know, how dedicated you are to everything. Favorite thing about you, basically, your smile. Personality-wise, you are just like the sweetest human being ever. Yeah. Next question, did you have a crush on anyone that Franny was interested in on the show? No, there was never any, obviously like the whole Tage situation was kind of a weird thing, but we never were like fighting over him, um, but no. But I think that just shows that like Franny and I have different um, types. Do you think any of the guys on the show were on just for the clout? Uh, absolutely I do. <laughs> I mean, knowing what we know now with Bennett, yeah. I kind of yeah. see it like, okay, now it all makes sense. But during it, I was like, this guy is literally here for the Instagram clout. And yeah, yeah. That's about it. Same thing with Dennis. Kid. And you know, we heard him say, if they only if they only got to see like me for the real me during all of this, I was like, okay, if you really think about yeah. it, if you were to put yourself out there, like this is exactly what we saw was the real you. <laughs> yeah. So that just didn't make sense to me, but you know, I just figured he was kind of there for the same reasons. But everybody else, I was like, yeah, they seem like they're here for the right intentions. Why do you think Vanessa and Veronica both recommended us for this dating show? I think they wanted to put me on the show just because like, I haven't had anything really solid in a very long time. And I think they chose you because, you know, you actually knew them prior to the show. Veronica's, I feel like she has like a little secret like cheer squad for me. Like she's always she just does. rooting for me. <laughs> she does. Yeah. Ronnie is so team Vince. Who was the funniest and most competitive contestant on the show? Denzel. I, yeah, I was gonna yeah. say, I think we both agree that like the funniest person on the show was yeah, a mixture of Dustin and Denzel for sure. Yeah, that brotherly um, dynamic, you, you just can't you know, put a price on that. It was so no, good to watch and watch it, it develop. it was so and... good. I think my favorite moment with Denzel um, was definitely being in the, like, the pottery class. I don't think I've ever laughed harder. As far as most competitive, I don't really know. I mean, I feel like Dustin got pretty competitive. Pulling me away from you that one time. That happened a lot. On the couch yeah. Yeah. when you kissed me in front of him and he was just like, what? And people have spoke on it, just like the amount of tension that was between us. Like I, you know, yeah. obviously we're in competition with one another, but because it just it like, just came down to y'all. Like it it from yeah. like early on, it was just mm -hmm. between the two of you, and so and it was very clear. <laughs> yeah. Next question: Do you regret eliminating any of the guys? I don't think I regret eliminating one, um, any of the boys. I wish, you know that the people that, you know, weren't really in it, I wish that they either would have spoken up earlier or, you know, not even come on the show at that point and have given us someone else a chance. Maybe but a I don't regret anyone less of a headache. <laughs> yeah, it would have been slightly less of a headache for yeah. sure. I, okay, I don't want to say this and make this sound bad, but I knew that, like, the dating show portion of it would be, like, the easiest part of this entire process. Yeah. No disrespect to any of my guys, but I knew that like getting past all of them would be the easiest thing. Okay, so next question um, that a fan sent in is, since quarantine, um, is there anything that we miss about each other since we can't really see each other? What, what do we miss most? Um, the simple fact that we can't be with one another. Yeah. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> that's no, just literally. Like, Lit. Yeah, we haven't been able to literally do anything or hang out or sing songs like because we can't really like do duets over like FaceTime because it like yeah. doesn't match up. Um, so that's kind of what I miss the most probably is like jamming out. Yeah. Um, and doing that. I know yeah. being being in here, being in the studio, just work. Yeah, music exactly. Stuff for fun. Yeah. Exactly. Will Vince and Neza ever make a YouTube video together? <laughs> that is the most asked question of all time. I get DMs all, all the time. <laughs> oh, obviously, you know, we wanted to, but, you know, because of quarantine and everything, like, there just hasn't been a moment. We're getting yeah. almost yeah. there. We're almost, almost there. there. So, next question is, what is something you wish would have aired but didn't make the cut? When you're at the house, it's just 
it's so hectic and everyone's running around yeah. at miles an hour. Yeah. But like, I was downstairs, you were upstairs, and we just we had to go upstairs and downstairs, and we just shared a moment. And we had we had a little private kiss. There's a lot of stuff that wasn't aired, but there was a lot of stuff also that wasn't aired because no one was there. Like, there was no cameras around, so yeah. we like just snuck stuff. What we could. Um, what yeah. we could. Remember how Connor presented me with that drawing? Yeah. That he drew of me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right before elimination, he pulled me into one of the rooms and he showed me a full on sketch drawing of me that I was like, when did you do this? He's like, oh, I just like did it today. And it was so good and I never asked for it and I still actually want it <laughs> um, because it was so good. Um, yeah, it was, it was incredible. I was just like, it how was long insane. did it take you to do that? Yeah. yeah, it was insane. And I remember just immediately running to the girls and be like, he's not going home. I don't care who yeah. has to go home, yeah. but he's not going home tonight because um, it was so precious. Oh, your your Lilo and Stitch voiceover. Oh Thank God didn't that air. did not get in the episode. It was one of my favorite moments. I know. Um, and that's that's one thing I wish I kind of let out more. It was just like I'm really much more of a goof than I kind of let people. Then you were on the show. Yeah, you're yeah. a goof. Okay, so I have a question for you, <laughs> Vince. Would you have? kissed me on the first date say we weren't on the show oh if we weren't on the show absolutely but i also okay. realized like but did you want to oh yeah oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> did you want to kiss me i think it was clear um <laughs> that i wanted to i've told you this before too just like i knew that i was so attracted to you and you know i was going to be into you for this whole time it's like the moment that we sat on that couch like the morning of the day one. I just knew right Which then. is so funny because I didn't get that. Like I, not that I didn't get it. I- It hit you for a while because you thought yeah. that I was like not actually into you. You're just like, you could yeah. get that through your mind that like I was into you and I was attracted to you. What are the odds of that? Like the, the one guy I'm most into, like day one is like, hey, you know what I mean? Like it was just- Yeah, yeah. Happy it did though. Okay, so now for the question that you guys have all been asking, all been waiting for. Are Vince and Neza still together? All right, you guys. So it's complicated. There is no bad blood. No. Right? No bad blood at all. Just with quarantine and also a lot of other reasons that I don't know if either of us are ready to just get into right now but um nothing negative we we were in it like we were in it oh, yeah. you know we what i mean yeah. um we unfortunately currently are not seeing each other but we still talk you know we're both very supportive of one another and you know we want to see each other doing really really well just because you know we're not like vindictive kind of people no regrets at all yeah. um you know just for the viewers like so I don't want anyone to be like, oh, well, you know, another situation. They're like, they're just friends. Like the show really did work. Like it did. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like yeah, yeah. we were seeing each other for almost two months and yeah, then quarantine months. happened. Yeah. Life has been a lot. And I, I'm just the kind of person that I want to make sure that like I'm good and solid before bringing someone else in. And I know you're kind of the same way. And that's why I respect you so much is because you are willing to do that. Um, yeah. You know, sometimes just the timing doesn't work out. You know, I can't fault you for wanting to focus on that and get yourself as good as you possibly can, you know? Like I said earlier, like I have no regrets. I know I put myself out there on the line as much as I could, did everything that I possibly could. And sometimes it just doesn't work out and you kind of have to be okay with that. Wow. That, that's the tea of all tea. That has been the most and I still get questions. I still I got a few today. Every day. I don't I don't think I'm ready to discuss the full relationship because so much happened in two months. So much. Yeah. But it was nothing but love. That's Absolutely. that. Absolutely. So that's a wrap, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Let us know in the comments what answer caught you off guard and surprised you. And if you liked this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to Awesomeness TV's channel. Subscribe to my channel. Make sure you go follow Vince. And we love y'all. Love Bye. You. Bye.
Hey guys, I'm Veronica. I'm Vanessa, and welcome to episode 5 of the Twin My Heart podcast. We've been doing weekly recaps of every episode of Twin My Heart. Can you believe we only have one more episode left after this? Oh my goodness. So we've been spilling the tea and stuff. So make sure you watch the fifth episode before you listen to this podcast or watch this video. You can watch it on Awesomeness TV on YouTube. And by now you should know that <laughs> because if you're just now listening for the first time, what, what in the world, what, listen to the other podcasts. Yeah, go listen to the other podcasts. Go watch all the episodes. Make sure you're caught up. And actually, we're going to be playing a game before we get into the podcast. Yeah, we're going to be playing a game first. And we're going to be playing a game that you guys are familiar with. We do this on our live streams. But we're going to be playing a game called MASH. And for those of you who don't know, MASH is a game that predicts our future lives. It predicts what kind of house we're going to live in, who we're going to marry, our jobs, pets, and how many kids we're going to have. So we can either get a mansion, apartment, shack, or house. And what fate decides for each category is what's going to happen. Yes. So, Nessa, you're going to get to go first. So, am But I for each category, I'm going to pick two options, and then you get to pick for yourself two options. I want to put down Christian. Christian CV as one of okay. the guys. Okay. Next guy I want you to write is Brandon. What in the world? Okay, now you get to pick two guys. So I'm you get to write Tom two Holland. guys. Tom Holland, not a surprise. I pray that I get Tom Holland. You get to choose one more guy. A Latin singer named Lunai. Oh, he's cute. And if you don't know who Lunai is, you should look him up because he's Fine. So, two jobs that I'm gonna put down if we weren't YouTubers. A dog sitter. Okay. Or a janitor. What in the world? I'm gonna pick, um, what's a job that makes a lot of money? Oh, I'm investor. Investor? Whatever this is, they make, they make a lot of money. You also spelled it wrong. Maybe I'm not <laughs> made to be an investor. Put doctor. Okay, I'll just put doctor. Okay, um, number of kids. I'm going to put 100 kids. What is wrong with or you? Or zero. I want to put two. Two or three. Okay. Okay. Pets. I am going to have. Kitty. You're going to get a kitty. A kitty. I want a kitty. Because I love. A pet rock. What in the world? Lizard. Okay. Kitty. You want a kitty or a puppy? Okay. All right, now I have to draw a little circle. You tell me when okay. to stop and how many circles I made. That's how many times I have to count. Okay. And then I'll start crossing things off. Okay. All right, ready? Mm hmm Stop. One, two, three, four. Okay. One, two, three, four. No, Christian. Oh, darn. One, two, three, four, zero. One, two, three, four. Not an investor. Or no puppy for you. Oh. One, two, three, four. No Brandon. Oh, uh, thank God. One, two, three, four. No three kids. Oh, no. It's between one, 100 two, and two. Three, four. No lizard. Oh. One, two, three, four. No house for you. One, two, three, four. Not a dog sitter. One, two, three, four. Yeah. No mansion. Oh. One, two, three, four. Four, not a hundred kids, but two kids. Ooh. One, two, three, four. Not an apartment, but you live in a shack. Hey. One, two, three, four. I get a kitty. You get a kitty. Okay. One, two, three, four. No Tom Holland, but Luna. One, two, three, four. And you are a doctor. So and this is. I live in a shack. So this is Nessa's predicted life. You are married to Lunai. And he clearly doesn't love you enough because he's put you in a shack. <laughs> <laughs> but you are a doctor, so I don't know why you wouldn't buy your own house. And you have a pet kitty with two kids. You know what? I don't mind the kitty, two kids, and Lunai, and a doctor, but I wish we lived in a mansion. Okay, Ronnie, it is now your turn. So, the first two guys... I'm going to pick for you our coconut head from Ned C Classified School Survival Guide. All right. I'll do Chris Pratt. That was gonna be mine. Oh, now you have to pick two. Okay, Timothy Chalamet. Okay, I'm just gonna put Tim Chalamet. 
Um, Aaron Burris. No! So your jobs that I'm going to give you are a concession stand worker. Hot get your hot dog. Uh, my next job I'm going to give you as one of your options is going to be a farmer. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, put down for me a Disney princess. Okay. Put teacher. I didn't want to be a teacher growing up. Okay. So now we need to pick what kind of kid you'll have. You're gonna do we're gonna do 67 and a half kids. We're gonna do five. Okay, put one and three. Okay. And for your pet, I'm going to make you have a ant eater. <laughs> and then a gazelle. Definitely. Can you put down hedgehog? Okay. I want a hedgehog or a chinchilla. Okay. Chinchilla. Okay, I'm ready for my future. I'm okay. ready. Tell me when to stop. And then stop. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. Here we go, everybody. Good. Aaron Burris is out of the picture. Well, they're not. There's no other bad options, Four, though. Five, six, seven. <laughs> Teachers out of the picture. One, two, three. You're not living in an apartment. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You're not having three kids. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, you don't live in a shack, but you live in a mansion. Oh, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. And you're a farmer. Oh yeah. One, That'd be two, fun. Three, four, five, six, seven. And you don't have 70, 60, 70 kids. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You're not married to Chris Pratt. Oh, I forgot there was coconut one, head two. on there. <laughs> oh wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, you're married to Timothy Chalamet. Uh, me and Timothy. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven. You have five kids with Timothy. Okay. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You don't have a chinchilla. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You don't have a gazelle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You have a hedgehog. Okay, so here's your future, Ronnie. This is a perfect life. I live in a mansion. With Timothy Chalamet, with five little kids, I'm a farmer, and I own a hedgehog. Dude, this is a great life. Me and Timothy are selling them avocados what at the farmer's the market. How come our five kids, Charlie, Grayson, <laughs> Okay. Tim All right, we're stopping you there. Timothy Jr. Okay, you know what? <laughs> I'm kind of jealous of your life. My life is great. This is a great life. And I have a hedgehog. I love hedgehogs. Okay, well... Well, let's right. get on with the podcast so you guys can listen to Twin My Heart podcast on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, or just wherever you listen to your podcast. You can listen to us on there talk about the rest of episode five. You know what? This has been a really interesting episode. I mean, we were left with a big giant cliffhanger, so you make sure you tune in to listen to this podcast. For oh, yeah, sure. for sure. Subscribe to Austin's TV, subscribe to our channel, and... Come listen to the podcast. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hey guys, I'm Veronica. I'm Vanessa. Today we're doing the smoothie challenge, challenge here on Awesomeness TV. Oh. We've done the smoothie challenge before, but not Awesomeness TV version. Mm -hmm. So we don't know what's in store for us. But we're smoothie challenge champs. Are we? Pros. No, we're not. Intermediate? <laughs> All right, we're each gonna draw five different things, and then at the end, we're gonna draw a different liquid so that then the smoothie will blend in better. Who wants to go first? Should we rock, paper, yeah. scissors? Rock, rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, rock paper, scissors, shoot. shoot. Rock, rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh, man. All right, here I go. Deli meat. Ew! All right, I like ham. Oh. Oh, it's okay. coming out like tissues. <laughs> Oh, that smells so good. Really smell good. I love smoked ham. <laughs> muffins! Muffins! I love muffins! Blueberry muffins. And they're like the little mini ones. 
This brand is so great. Please be something that is going to taste good with ham. What'd you get? Bananas. Ew! Fruit and protein already. That's what you need in a smoothie. Mm. I'll just like put like chunks in it. All right. Ooh! Oh! I got pickles. <laughs> we hate pickles. I hate pickles. With a passion. Someone is throwing up today. Ooh! <laughs> Oh my gosh. I saw a tweet the other day that was like, if you don't like pickles, you need to grow up. I'm staying young forever. <laughs> One is enough, to be honest. That's a big pickle. Ew, it smells so gross already. Vienna sausages. In a can with liquid. Ooh, I don't like the way it looked when it came out of there. <laughs> Ooh. Guys, mine is turning into a protein shake. Honestly, it just keeps going downhill. <laughs> Hot Cheetos. They're very yummy, but, but not in my smoothie. <laughs> muffins and pickle. Is it weird that I don't like Hot Cheetos? They've grown on me. Oh, there's juice down there in the bottom of your smoothie, Ronnie. And there's a Cheeto soaking it all up. Bad one, Please, bad one. I just want a good one. <laughs> Marinara sauce. You're gonna have like a meatloaf protein smoothie now. <laughs> just the sound and the look of that just looks so gross. Give me something good. with like 10 C's. <laughs> Nothing can make this better. <laughs> oh, I got peanut butter. <laughs> Remember when we said your smoothie's gonna be thick? <laughs> so is, so is mine. Ooh, Ronnie, you're throwing peanut butter everywhere. Ronnie, Ronnie. Oh. I got orange juice. We need to make it all, make sure it, there's a lot so it'll why is it bubbling? Why is it too big? Why is it bubble? Yours looks like throw up. Did you sneeze? All right, here we go. I got water. Never really put water in a smoothie challenge. Yours is bubbling too. It's on. Oh, oh, no! Oh! Sorry. <laughs> Cheetos mixed with water. Oh yeah, I made it pink. I just got really nervous. I actually meant to throw up. What are those chunks? What is the brown chunk? Like, what is the dark chunks? Chocolate chip. Cookie. I'm gonna do it. One flavor at a time, I taste it all. <sighs> okay, now my stomach just dropped. Oh, we touched our lips. <laughs> I'm so confused. What do you mean you're confused? Let me try again. <gasps> again? Here's the breakdown. I taste a lot of peanut butter. But I also taste a lot of pickle, but for some reason the peanut butter and the pickle complement each other very well. And I can't really taste the muffin. I'm actually 
genuinely shocked at how it wasn't that bad. Ooh, is it Ooh. bad? No, I taste the pickle. I don't know why. Oh, I taste I the spicy. <laughs> You think I should try yours? I tried yours, now you have to try mine! Oh no. Ugh. Oh gosh. Did you taste all the flavors? Mm hmm. Especially the orange juice at the end. There we go, we did the smoothie challenge. Please stay tuned for season two of Twin My Heart. It's coming out soon. Trailer drops on Valentine's Day. We're so excited for you guys to see this season. And the trailer is going to be playing in New York Times Square. I'm so excited. So please, please, please send us the pictures. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. Subscribe to Awesomeness TV. Subscribe to our channel. We'll see you guys in the trailer of season two of Twin My Heart. Bye. Yes. Are Franny and Ryan dating? Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Franny. It's me, Ryan. What's going on? And today we are going to be answering your Instagram and YouTube questions for season two of Twin My Heart. Yeah, so obviously we wanted to do our where are they now in person, but with everything going on in the world, we thought it'd be best to do it while social distancing. So here we are online on video chat, which definitely makes it kind of weird. So yeah, you want to jump into it? Yeah, let's do it. I'm so <laughs> nervous. Uh... I have some questions for you. So you mind if I throw you one first? Go for it. Okay, so when all the guys got off the bus first, day one, which guy do you think you had the best initial impression of? To be completely honest, the first guy that I felt like I just like kind of, well, I guess right off the bus, I guess it was Troy because he was my first pick for the date. He was my first pick, I guess, to just like talk to and like vibe with. And in the beginning, I vibed with him really well, but clearly that just went downhill. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. that makes sense. All right. So Troy, obviously, first guy you had a good impression of, but mm -hmm. what was your first impression of yours truly? <laughs> <laughs> um, my first impression of you was your smile, for sure. But then, yeah, like once I got to know you, your personality was really cool too. Oh, thank you. Wow, yeah. that was really sweet. I was worried for a second. You laughed before you answered, so I was like, "This is either going to yeah, be really I, nice I, or I really laughed, mean." I laughed because you were like, "Yours truly." It's very formal here. <laughs> I got inside info from a friend about that Nezo was gonna be on the show. But then when you walked out, I was like completely floored and very, very surprised that there were two people, so. Mine Ooh. was also your smile probably, and then also that I was like, oh God, this is way more intimidating. Now there are two people. <laughs> two girls. Well, at least you were kind of surprised. I was super surprised. On the walkout, because like you came up the stairs or whatever, I thought you were very pretty. I again was kind of floored Aww, because of the fact that there were multiple people to talk to. I think my first real impression of you was the first time we kind of like got to talk just the two of us. All right, so I have a question for you. Oh, was no. it awkward being all lovey-dovey on camera? Yeah, for sure. So, wow, we're really getting into the questions here. Like the whole <laughs> being public with any sort of relationship is weird and very foreign to me, but especially doing it on camera with cameras like in your face makes it even harder. Yeah, it was really strange. It, I think I kind of started to get used to it. I just kept putting in my head like the camera's not there, the camera's not there, but. The whole idea was the focus should always be you, right? And my relationship with you. But then there would be times where like, we'll be talking and then like a camera will come out from behind your head. And I'm like, all right, what about you? I think we were both on the same page. It was just something that we had to get used to. And it was, it was a little strange being lovey-dovey because that's, you know, being lovey-dovey with someone is something intimate and private. So when there's a camera in your face, you don't know whether to like retract, retract from it. I don't know. Everybody was being way too nosy that entire time. <laughs> Literally everyone. Everyone's like trying to like sneak into the rooms and stuff. Like, but did they kiss? Yeah. Did they hug? Are they holding hands? Well, it's not even that too. It's also just the other guys who were just like, Swoop in. Oh my god, the swooping was so stressful. <laughs> was it? What was the worst swoop that happened to you? Okay, because uh, I hadn't, I don't know if I remember seeing that scene of Connor come in with Denzel, but you were literally, yo, when they played the footage a minute ago, you were literally just like. That was the most awkward swoop. I just, I wasn't expecting that. And like, I was like, wow, I'm so yeah. happy that Denzel like stood up for me. That I was so confused. Um, honestly, that swoop may have been the worst one. Okay, so have you, since filming the show, talked to any of the other guys? I no? have not. I'm not. Really? 
No, I have not kept Nobody in touch. Nobody at all? No, not at all. <laughs> not, what are you saying? Not at all. Like, I have not talked I'm to I'm actually you. surprised by that. So why? Why are you surprised? I don't know, because I feel like even if relationship stuff didn't work out with everybody there, I feel like I did see a lot of, like, really cool friendships. Well, my next question for you was actually the same thing, was have you kept in touch with the guys, and do you have, like, a best friend, a best bud out of them now type of thing? Um, we've all talked a bunch. Okay. Troy and I have FaceTimed a few times just to catch up. Uh, Vince and I are supposed to go go-karting in, like, a month or two whenever we're allowed to, like, not be socially distancing anymore, and then Connor oh, and I have Oh, fun! Been... That's cute! Yeah. Vince <laughs> and I are buds. Awesome! Yeah, and then Connor and I have been, like, talking about this project he wants to work on because he's such an amazing, like, artist. So he wants Got to draw it. some stuff. Cool. Yeah. It's kind of weird that you walk away with such friendships from the show, I think, for the guys. That's awesome, though. Like, the fact that you guys were able to stay close after trying to date. <laughs> All of you guys trying to date us. You said that you haven't really talked to any of the guys since the show ended, but are there any guys that you could actually see yourself hanging out with, being good friends with after all this? Um, definitely could see myself being really close with Dustin and Denzel. They were <laughs> hands down the funniest. They just seemed like a great time. And I got along with both of them really, really yeah. well. Everyone else, not at all, but them for sure. Nah, nah. <laughs> I don't know if this is like prying too much, but I'm gonna ask anyway. <laughs> like, how was your relationship with Denzel when they weren't together as brothers? Was the dynamic the same, do you think? I think he was a little more serious when he was alone, but I mean, that just makes sense. You know, like it was just more like, since it was just one-on-one, -on -one, it was more intimate. He was a little more serious. And with his brother, he was definitely, you know, they feed off each other. Their energies are a little like, higher and more intense i guess <laughs> but um yeah. but i love i loved it i loved their energy everybody on the show i really liked honestly which is a problem i like couldn't get mad at people well ryan you're a very nice person <laughs> and i feel like you're just you're very friendly and you you get along with everyone that's the problem though see i was, I was trying to find some <laughs> conflict on the show i was trying to get some arguments it just didn't work if someone's bothering you if something's bothering you you just like i'm like down. i gotta let them know Dude, that was still literally the best thing I've ever seen in my entire life. When I kicked Troy off? Oh, yeah, for sure. It was <laughs> sick. <laughs> yeah, that was like a... I was so fed up. I was so over it. I was like, I can't do this anymore. Like, he literally is just pushing me to the edge. And I'm like, I'm sorry. I was like, I'm sorry to the producers. Yeah. I'm sorry to everyone here. But he's going, and I just did it. It was great. No, I think the producers loved you for that. I don't even, I don't think you need to apologize for a second. You know <laughs> they were so over funny. there just like, yes! <laughs> so, Ryan, were there any kissing <laughs> moments that weren't caught on camera? I don't know, were there? They caught one of them um, through the audio, remember? And they, I think, I think it, it was on one of the episodes. Oh, yeah. I think it was after we kissed on the balcony. Um, we kissed yeah. again. And then we walked and... inside. Yeah. Well, because yeah. I didn't want yeah. everything to be on camera. Like, I want to have moments that are just like me and you. Yeah. <laughs> and then he caught us. <laughs> Basically. That's true. That's fair. I forget yeah. you're never safe. You're always mic'd and you always had to be careful with what you said. <laughs> <laughs> that was the funny part. I knew you had a lot of guys coming at you really fast and a lot of mm -hmm. people who were probably going to make moves on you. Best week ever. <laughs> All right, moving on to the next question. Someone asked if we would ever collab on a video on one of our YouTube channels. What do you think? Yeah, I'd be done film, 100%. That'd be, I think it'd be fun, it'd be cool. And we also, I feel like we do different types of videos too, so it would actually be interesting to see what we could come up with to film. Oh, we definitely do very different types of videos. Your yeah. kind of content is literally my favorite thing. You're just like slinging shots with your friends and it's the best. <laughs> I think we can sometime. Definitely leave comments down below on what videos you would like to see us film together. So what was the best and hardest part about being on a reality dating show? Best part? Meeting you. Aww, oh, <laughs> wow. That was sweet. Yeah. I think the show was just an amazing experience. Meeting everybody was really great. Like the relationships that you get to walk away from that kind of show with is something that you could have for life, right? Mm -hmm. um, the hardest part, if we're gonna get real real for a minute. Go for it, be, be as real as you wanna be. Because I remember the twins asked this on our like initial interview day. And one of the questions like, are you the jealous type? <laughs> and 
and I did not think I was really, but like as the show progressed and as I thought that we had a moment, then hearing, and this is, you are totally within your right to do this, obviously. I'm not saying you weren't. <laughs> I'm just clarifying, like I'm not, but like as I was hearing yeah. that you were having like these intimate moments and experiences and interactions with these other guys, like for some, I don't know, I was like emotionally invested. So like it, I definitely struggled with it. I don't know why they made it look like I was like pacing back and forth on that balcony. That was probably taken slightly out of context is all I'm gonna say. <laughs> It was definitely a struggle to deal with trying to develop a relationship while also watching you nurture and develop relationships with other people. Yeah, I think I think the best part was I got to meet new people and I got to go out of my comfort zone. Um, and yeah, meeting you was like a great thing. Like you, you're an amazing person. You're so sweet. So it's like I did, you know, gain something from being on the show. And probably the hardest part was the the emotional roller coaster oh for sure yeah it was oh, just yeah. hard like juggling how i was feeling because i've never felt like that before so yeah, yeah i mean it's it's crazy but I, i'm happy i did it it was something that i never thought i would have done but and you you'll know never what? forget yeah you will never forget like how many people can say they've been on a dating show not, not that many, many. That's true. I can say that. Okay, next question. Again, we had cameras on us nonstop the entire time. Were there any moments that you wish the cameras didn't capture and didn't show to everybody? I don't, I, the, the, the massage. Oh, okay, uh, that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I just wish <laughs> that was like, that's erased from everything, everywhere. Nope, that's out there forever. I know, I know, and I think the cameras made it a lot more nerve-wracking, to be honest with you, but it's fine. It's there, but, yeah. you know, yeah. How about you? Any moments that you were like, oh, I wish well, the camera didn't get that? I guess this pacing thing, I didn't want that to get shown. <laughs> so, in the beginning, you actually pulled Neza, I believe, first. I did. So, tell me about that. Like, was your, like, first thought Neza? Or was well, it more so like, yeah, ex my elaborate. First thought was, <laughs> my first thought was actually definitely you. But when I came down, you were sitting facing the pool with literally everybody around you. And I was like really nervous and I was freaking out. So I just left. Like I was just like, I need to like walk, <laughs> kind of walk it off. And then the next conversation I walked into was with her. Yeah, I pulled her aside because I feel like I had to start, start talking to somebody. Again, I love Neza, don't get me wrong, but I no joke feel like we had this unspoken, like we were talking, but there was like an unspoken like, yeah, we're kind of not into each other, like right off the bat. <laughs> Cause like, no, she's great, oh, right? But like, I kind of just got the yeah, vibe yeah. that she wasn't into me. And I was like, yeah, I don't know. So. It was just a vibe, yeah. Does that no, make sense? No, 100%, I guess, also, yeah, I yeah, no. Yeah, okay, cool. All right guys, so the final question that you guys have all been waiting for and the most asked question of them all is, are Franny and Ryan dating? <laughs> oh man. Oh Ryan, man. Ryan, you want, you want, you want to you take want this take one away? away? This might come to a huge surprise to everybody, but we're <laughs> actually starting a family YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, we are not dating. We are not dating. And it's literally the question that I probably get asked every single day in my oh, DMs, on Twitter, everything. Are Franny and Ryan together? Are you with Ryan? Where's Ryan? So after Twin My Heart, Ryan and I did go on a couple of dates and everything was good. Like, I mean, we really enjoyed hanging out and stuff, but I think we just realized we never got to actually be friends. First, and yeah, which is kind yeah. of, it was kind of yeah. tough. Like you go through a crazy emotional roller coaster with this person who you mm. just met and then you have no time to take a step back and get to know them for who they are. Like again, prior to this show, every person I've ever been in a, a relationship with, I've known for like months beforehand and we've like hung out and you really get to understand who the person is. Yeah. So yeah, what, kind of based on what Franny's saying, we never really had the chance to do that. And the dates we went on were nice because we kind of got a chance to like be more like friends and hang out and talk. And I think that's kind of where we lie right now, I guess. Yeah. Right? Is like. Being friends, wanting to hang out, it's better to get to know somebody I agree. and like I feel like that's what a relationship is based off of too, like a strong friendship. But yeah, we are just friends. Everyone's gonna be so mad. I know, everyone's gonna be so sad, they're like, damn. 
But yeah, guys, I I'm sorry to. I know everyone's like so invested. I'm so sorry to disappoint y'all. Like I really am. Right when the show ended, like we hung out a few times, the world got really, really crazy, and life got really crazy after the show ended. Yeah. It's more about finding the right person, but also the timing with that person, making sure both people are ready for something and. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. What a wild journey it has been. All right, guys. Well, that was actually just really, honestly, very nostalgic. Like, I feel like this didn't happen that long ago, but like it did in a way, like just talking about everything that happened is just like bringing back a lot of memories. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe to Awesomeness. Check out mine and Ryan's channels if you want. And don't forget to <laughs> yeah. go ahead and follow Awesomeness on Instagram. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm Veronica. I'm Vanessa, and we're in the studio of the Twin My Heart podcast. Welcome to episode one. We're going to be discussing all of the tea for every episode of Twin My Heart season two. We're going to do breakdown moments of things that happen on screen, and we're also going to talk about things that happen behind the scenes. Yeah. So if you haven't seen the first episode of Twin My Heart season two, what are you doing? Go watch it now. You can go to Awesomeness TV on YouTube and watch the first episode because we're actually going to be talking about spoilers today on this podcast. We don't want to spoil it for you guys, so make sure to watch the episode before you listen or watch this podcast. Go watch it now. Do it now. <laughs> this is fun. Also, <laughs> because we're twins, I feel like we sound the same. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, oh. 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 Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Before we get started with this podcast, we are going to be playing a game. Yes, so you guys sent in some questions into Austin's TV's Instagram story we're gonna be answering them we're gonna be talking about what it's actually like to be on a reality dating show okay so the first question is is season two more dramatic than season one yes, yes. it is definitely way more dramatic I didn't think it would get way more dramatic but it did I ended up actually crying yeah so what happened with me on season one is that like Okay, we were raised to like just cry like by ourselves or like at home, like that's the safe place. And I just never cried in front of people, right? So on season one, I did cry, but it was like off camera and then the cameras came and we were like, ah, oh, Vanessa's crying. <laughs> but no. But, but that's just how I am. I always just hold my tears in so no one sees me sad. But on season two, no one was holding their tears in. Mm -mm, it's all out there. Yeah, the even from the producers. <laughs> one moment where I was like, can't get out of the way because she was she was making everyone else cry and i was like can't go away <laughs> next question what was the hardest part of filming season two and what was the best part Ooh. Mm. for me the hardest part about filming season two was just seeing nessa and franny go through everything i went through for season one and it's emotionally draining being on a dating show like that in a good way right it's all in a good way but it's just like a lot because there's a lot of guys going after you and you have to pick one and you have to give everyone an equal chance and sometimes you feel like you don't give someone an equal chance and then you kick them off the show and then you feel bad and like because it's real feelings like and yeah. it sucks and i felt bad seeing them both like stress out over that and i was like oh no i'm not alone <laughs> i felt the same way <laughs> i think the hardest part for me is and i think maybe even the girls is building a connection with the guys mm -hmm. and then seeing them leave oh yeah like because you feel bad well especially because we weren't participating as in like we weren't trying to win these guys hearts we would just sit down and talk to these guys even when cameras were off because we were allowed to because you know we casted them and basically we formed friendships and then a guy would have to go and we'd be like oh I'm sorry. Bye. <laughs> it was just so much fun. Even when we were like stop filming too, it was yeah. just really great. Oh yeah, it was super fun. And I'm super glad we get to experience this and hopefully we can do a season three. Oh. Mm. Next question. Did any of the guys from season two flirt with Vanessa or Ronnie? Ooh. Oh, definitely. That's a spoiler for sure. Yes. Yeah, but here's the thing. It was not caught on camera and that's the tea. And it was like, funny because they would talk to us. This person, specific person, would talk to Ness and I, and they'd be way more like lively. And then they would talk to I don't know. I think they got nervous on camera. Yeah. So it was really, it was really odd. Yeah. It was so it odd. It was a bit odd, but 
I didn't mind. <laughs> Vanessa. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. How do you choose the boys from the show? Okay, so the first season, I sat with the producers and we kind of like went through a list of guys and some pictures and looked at some audition tapes and that's how we chose the guys. But for season two, I got to help this time because I wasn't looking for love and you know we have people that help us they they do this thing called a casting call it's just like a thing that kind of goes up on certain websites that tell you hey we're looking for some guys to be part of a show please send in your audition tape and so uh, we had a call back and so that's like the next step after the audition tape is when you get called in for the producers to see because you know we're pr executive producers on this show. Yes, we are. So of course we had to see them, and yeah, that's how we decided. There were some that we really liked that couldn't make the show. And then there were some that we picked that we really liked and that were on the show, and we were like, darn, why'd we pick you? <laughs> but you know, like we said, this podcast has all the tea. We're spilling all the behind the scenes stuff. Is it weird going on dates with camera people and producers? I mean, from my experience, no. <laughs> well, because I haven't done it. <laughs> I'm just gonna be straight up honest. When there's a camera, I definitely am like, Vanessa, camera time, you know? So anytime there's a camera, that's just like, I just switch on, right? Mm -hmm. And that's how I've always been since we were little girls. And going on these dates and stuff, it was like when the cameras were on, obviously I was being myself, but I was like camera Vanessa, which isn't much different from normal Vanessa, but Vanessa off camera is just a little bit more chill and quiet. So, you know, on these dates and stuff, I was a bit more like extra than what I would have normally been, but I was still myself, obviously. But yeah, like, you I don't know, think it was much extra at all. But just you know, it's I just know weird you. because you know they're watching and like, I feel like I was conscious of what I was saying and stuff and I didn't want to like, say something stupid and be like oh no everyone's going to judge me <laughs> yeah i mean i get that you have to be conscious of that and it's weird uh, it's weird but it's fun that's what a dating show is mm -hmm. all right next question why did you pick both franny and neza to be on this season well because they both single they're both very single and they have crazy love lives. But I think one of the reasons why we wanted to uh, choose both of them to be on the show is because they're best friends and they have they have just they have this amazing bond and, and a funny just, dynamic together. Yeah, kind of like what we have. Mm -hmm. We're really good friends with both of them. So mm -hmm. we just thought it'd be really fun. And if it were one of them, I think it, the show would be just as great. But adding another person just gives person. it a little bit of a oomph to it, you know? And, you know, they're better friends than we are with them like they're best best friends we're best friends with them <laughs> yeah we know if that makes sense like we know a lot about their lives and like major details and secrets and stuff but they tell each other like everything yeah so for them to have each other to like lean on during the show i think was very important because yeah. they because could they could put each other in their place and we wouldn't have to do that <laughs> and, and it's just you know we love their friendship and yeah. we wanted to showcase their friendship and just how they you know, handle situations together. Yeah, I think they're a great example of what a friendship should be. Mm -hmm. When will you make a dating show for one of your guy friends so I can join? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> maybe season three. Yeah, maybe season three. It's been in the talks. It, it has been in the talks. Like we said earlier, comment down suggestions of who should be on season three and who you would like to see on season three. And honestly, they don't even have to be like one of our close friends. At least we need to know them. Yeah. So just, you guys can think about it and just let us know. But we have some ideas. This is the last question. Did Vanessa have a crush on one of the boys? <laughs> chun, chun, chun. On season two? It doesn't clarify. Um, I'm guessing season two. I'll, I'll finish the question. Did one, did Vanessa have a crush on one of the boys in season two? <laughs> um, no, I did think some of them were very cute which is why we casted them, <laughs> but I wouldn't have dated any of them. All right, so we're not done talking about episode one of Twin My Heart, so make sure you listen to the Twin My Heart podcast to hear what we have to say about episode one. So yes, you guys are gonna wanna listen to our podcast available on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, or anywhere you listen to your podcast after you've watched the episode on Awesomeness TV's YouTube channel. More tea will be spilled for mm -hmm. sure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye. <laughs> 
Hey guys, guys, I'm Veronica. I'm Vanessa, and welcome to episode two of Twin My Heart, the podcast. Each week, we're going to be spilling all of the tea in the latest episode of Twin My Heart. Yeah, we're going to be talking about things that happen on screen, things that happen off camera. So, there are going to be spoilers, which means if you haven't watched What Are You Doing, go watch them so you're up to date because we will be spoiling things. So, we're going to get right into it. We're going to play a game. We're actually going to be playing Never Have I Ever. Yes, I have and I have not. In this latest episode, the second episode, Neza and Franny took their one-on-one dates to Ariel Silk's class. Have you ever done this before? I have. I have too. We did this a while ago with Mahogany. I think it's really funny (laughs) how um, the girls and the guys, like, they interacted during this one-on-one date. I think it's actually kind of romantic and cute. Next question. Never have I ever liked someone my sister also liked. (gasps) Brownie. I have not. Yes, you have. Who? In middle school, you you kissed have my two. first boyfriend, and you kissed one of my boyfriends, and he your best friend. <laughs> oh, <laughs> All right. there, there we go. See, we're even. That's why I was like, ah, I'm not, because <laughs> I didn't really want to go down that road. But okay, I guess we're going down it. <laughs> but that, oh, yeah. that's high school, middle school stuff. So does it count? We're... No, I don't think it counts. <laughs> oh, it counts. <laughs> Never have I ever said I love you without feeling it. I think I have. I say it every day to you, Nessa. <laughs> okay, moving on. I'm kidding, but no, I definitely have. Like, especially like towards like the end of the relationship when you're wanting to break up and like you just keep saying, you're just like, oh, I'm not feeling it anymore, see? Yeah, yeah, I, I would agree. Have I ever I said it without meaning it? Like, first time? I've, I think I, I've always meant it. I think I've always time. meant it, but maybe I got confused over lust. <laughs> moving on, <laughs> next question. Never have I ever embarrassed myself in front of someone I liked. I have. I have. I definitely have all as well. the time. When I get embarrassed, I stutter. <laughs> My voice cracks. I'm awkward. One time I had a guy that I was like trying to like, you know, talk to and just be myself. And we were at a party. He, he oh said to me, you're really awkward and weird. And I was like, oh. <laughs> and I was like. Thanks. And he was like, huh. And then we <laughs> he left me alone. And Major T, it was a YouTuber that was kind of popular back in the day. It Ooh. was. Rude. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next question. Never have I ever made the first move? Ooh, I have. I have not. What is wrong with you? Here's the thing. They say, what do you, okay, what defines as the first move? Like the first kiss? First kiss, talking to someone first, reaching out, going oh. up to a guy at a party first. Oh, well, in that case, then I have. But if we're talking about, like, the first, first move, kiss? as in, like, a kiss, I have not. Then I I have. You because have kissed a guy first? Yeah, because guys are scared to do it. See, I'm Sometimes the... Sometimes you gotta take charge. See, I'm the type of person to just, like, give, like, a lot of, like, hints and, like, vibes. And I'm like, hey. <laughs> like, I, you know, do a little bit of leg well, I, touching. That's making the first move. Nuh-uh, that's giving signs. Whatever. Oh my goodness. I, I have. <laughs> okay. Never have I ever played spin the bottle. Oh, I actually have not ever played spin the bottle. Have you, Ronnie? No, I have not. You've never played spin the bottle? Really? I, really? I almost did the other night. Why are you surprised that I haven't done it when you haven't done it either? I don't know. Never have I ever kissed in the rain. I have. I have not. Ronnie, when I think did you I have. kiss in the rain? <laughs> I actually don't remember. <laughs> but I'm pretty positive I have. I mean, like, you know, the weather is just bad. It's just a rainy day. Kissed in the rain. Wow. That's kind of like a dream of mine. Like, you know, like a goodbye kiss. Like, oh, it's raining. Oh, goodbye. Okay. Nope. Never. No? Mm-mm. What in the world? I've never had a kiss when it's raining. Never have I ever been to prom. I have. I have. Once. Once. That was it. Yep. I went with a guy. He was very nice. I went with a guy too. He was also nice. But <laughs> my guy was definitely way more into me than I was into him. Oh, yeah. No shame in this. I ended up having to pay for his prom. 
Like, because because he was already going to two other proms. I was like, do you have a date for prom? He was like, no, I don't. I was like, oh my gosh, let's go together. And he was like, actually, I can't afford it. And I was like, I'll pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> Never have I ever dated two people at the same time. I ain't no cheater. I've not dated two people at the same time. Why are you putting you have? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I am <laughs> <have laughs> not. Yeah, I've not dated two people at the same time. No, that's that's awful. Have I talked to like multiple people at once? Yes, <laughs> but have I like officially like dated them? No, like boyfriend or like was I exclusive with someone and to also exclusive with another person? No, never have I ever given the wrong number to a guy. <laughs> not. I've always given my number. I have. One time I for, I put my name in, but then I completely forgot to put in my number. <laughs> Ronnie, how do you do that? I don't know. <laughs> I'm a dum dum. Remember that one time you gave your number to a mysterious college guy? Why do you gotta go down that road? Oh, sorry. He was so good looking. I never got my chance. It was <laughs> Mustang guy that you gave your number to. Yes. Remember he asked for your number yes. out of his car. Good times, good times. And then I stopped texting him because I kind of got weirded out by the situation. I was like, I'm texting a stranger. <laughs> <laughs> that wraps up our game of never have I ever. Wow, I feel like we had the same never have I ever's. Yeah, there was a couple. I mean, we could have asked each other some more juicier questions, but maybe we'll save it for another time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes, let's save it for another time. So the podcast is only getting started. We're going to end this YouTube video and dive into episode two. So you guys make sure to go listen to the podcast. You can listen to the podcast available on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, or anywhere you listen to your podcast after you have watched the episode on Awesomeness TV's YouTube channel. Yes, you got to go watch it because we are going to be spilling some tea and major spoiling spoilers. stuff. Yes. You don't want stuff to be spoiled for you. Yeah, make sure to subscribe to Awesomeness, subscribe to us. But go follow the podcast. Listen to the podcast. We're going to finish talking about episode two in the podcast. So, all right, take a listen there. <laughs> we'll see you guys. Bye. Bye. Hey, guys, I'm Veronica. I'm Vanessa, and welcome to episode four of the Twin My Heart podcast. Each week, we'll be spilling the tea on the latest episode of Twin My Heart. Yeah, so if you haven't seen the latest episode, make sure to go watch it and then come back and listen to the rest of this podcast because we're going to be talking about things that happen in the show, things behind the scenes, and there's for sure spoilers. Before we get on to the podcast, we're going to play a little game of truth or tea. So we've got questions right here, and we pull out the question, we read it, and whatever question you pull out, we both have to answer it. Oh, okay. If we don't want to answer it, we have to take a sip of this mysterious tea. We don't know what's in it. I know I smell a little bit of lemon something, but there's a secret ingredient in there. All right. That so, makes it yucky. Okay. So if I don't want to answer, I just... Drink a sip of the tea? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Let's do it. Are you uh, ready? Yes, I'm ready. Have you ever been cheated on? Yes. So yes, I have been too. Yes. Definitely. Why are you sipping your tea? I'm, I'm just holding it because it's warm. <laughs> yeah. It's not a good feeling. You've been cheated on? Yeah. Definitely been a side chick without knowing. <laughs> For sure. Oh. Oh. And Ooh, that's I, the tea. I will so I was cheated on, but it was kind of a miscommunication. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't know he had a girlfriend. No. That was another situation. <gasps> oh gosh. Okay, oh, moving God. on. What's a habit you can't seem to quit? Biting my nails. I can't seem to quit not being clean. <laughs> Ooh. It's a really bad habit. I'm it's a very, very bad messy. habit. I'm so messy. I just have this habit of throwing clothes on the floor. She does that. It's so bad. I'm and working then, on and it. And then she loses my clothes in her room somehow. And I'm like, how did my clothes even get in here? Sometimes you change in my room for some reason. No. -uh. During like videos and, then and stuff. And I come back and grab my clothes. Okay. All right. Moving on. What's your biggest turn on? Oh, I don't know if I want to answer that. <laughs> Um, um, uh, um Okay, my biggest turn on <gasps> is uh, is, <laughs> is what? I've never said this before on camera. Then sip the tea. Why are you gonna say it? Yes! <laughs> what do you say it? What's your biggest turn on? What kind of turn on are we talking about? Like are we talking about like No, we're talking about what a turn on is, like you know. 
The sexual kind. <gasps> Ronnie! <laughs> it's true for tea. Ah, uh, I'm waiting for you to go first because I don't know. Um, I can't decide. I mean, there are a lot of things that turn me on. I like big arm muscles. <laughs> <laughs> I really enjoy <laughs> and Okay, you know what? I'm gonna say it because I don't want to drink it. I like <laughs> <laughs> What do you like? Spit it I, out. I like kisses on my neck. <laughs> Alright. Okay, so my turn on. So I have. Mine are like. Okay. Are you gonna be cheesy? She's gonna be like. I get so turned on when he opens the door for me. <laughs> That's what Ronnie's gonna be like. No! I love when he says please and thank you. No! <laughs> Manners are very nice to. Like, though. Yeah, they are nice. Yeah, yeah. But, um. What I see in my mind is very different from what is going to come out of my mouth. Okay, like, then say it. Or drink the tea. I really like, <laughs> I like a nice facial expression. <laughs> you know, a nice like a, huh? Like a lip bite and like a, like a, like a eye, like eye look. <laughs> like, um, like accidental lip bite. Like, have you uh, ever seen a guy like accidentally make a face and you're just like, mm, you know, oh my gosh. I guess, but like. Or gray sweatpants on a guy. Oh, Ronnie. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? We're moving on to the next question. <laughs> Who was your first crush? Who was my first crush? I don't even know. Uh, I'm just going to take a sip to that. Hold on. Oh, I'm so confused. Okay. My first crush was in kindergarten. Oh! His name was it's Brandon. It's spicy. His name was Brandon, and it was in kindergarten. I was in love with him. He was my first crush. I think it might be hot sauce. What the? <laughs> Why did your last relationship end? <laughs> uh, my last relationship ended because my parents didn't like him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know what's in there. It is really gross. <laughs> and I don't like it. It burns <laughs> my throat. <laughs> Who is the last person you texted? Hmm. The last person I texted was... <laughs> Mine was just <laughs> Franny and Neza. <laughs> Mine was a uh, Aaron. Oh, Aaron, who? <gasps> oh my gosh! What is your biggest pet peeve? You know what? Picky eaters. <laughs> Here's the thing. It's okay if you don't like food, but like if you're rude about it and you're not open to trying new things. That's where I draw the line. What's your biggest pet peeve? I honestly don't know what my biggest pet peeve is. I might have to sip some tea to that. Okay, sip some tea. What is in there? Is it ginger? Mine's more like a soy sauce. <laughs> it's soy sauce? Mine's soy sauce. Yours might not be soy sauce. Is mine wasabi? Or is it soy sauce? Why is it spicy? What was the last thing you cried over? was the last time I cried? Literally yesterday. Mine's so stupid. What did you cry about? A guy. That's it. I cried about a guy. And what did you cry about? <laughs> CVS losing my prescription <laughs> for my medication. <laughs> when was the last time you spoke or texted an ex? And that's the tea. And you know what? <laughs> my tea is Saturday. I saw an ex from the past on Saturday. It's too much tea. Okay, sorry. Yeah, that's um, too much tea. I might have to drink to that. Cause I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> yeah, that's gross. What is the most embarrassing thing you've ever been caught doing? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know yours. Sip that tea <laughs> right now. can't say or else you have to sip the tea. Are Can you, you ready? Hint? Playlist live. You mean VidCon? Oh, 
very calm. <laughs> <laughs> I stick to that. <laughs> oh, got oh. you there. Oh my gosh, that was too much tea was spilled. Honestly, so much. I don't understand how I even got the courage to say some stuff. But you know what? That's what happens here on podcasts. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I hope you enjoyed the truth or tea game that we just played. I didn't. <laughs> it was not fun. It was. It brought a lot of laughter. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I may be embarrassed for life now. But, <laughs> yeah, so we're actually going to dive into this podcast and start talking about episode four. And let me just say, it's very juicy. Yeah, so you guys can listen to the podcast, and it's available on Apple Podcasts, on Google Podcasts, Spotify, or anywhere else you listen to podcasts. We're going to talk about episode four of Twin My Heart, so make sure you watch the episode before you come and listen to the podcast so nothing gets spoiled. So, yeah. Come, yeah, come listen and thanks for watching us. Subscribe to Awesomeness TV. Subscribe to our channel. And um, 